people, you hate me! You hate me! I ain't never done nothing to your goddamn raunchy fucking asses. Why are you doing this to a world full of heavy set people? All you're doing is cutting your fucking throat. You say you don't care if they wear your clothes? How about them? nobody buys your clothes anymore? How about if they, you have to close every one of your fucking stores? How about if you gotta take your stores and everything you in it and send it to goddamn motherfucking, what's the name of that goddamn place, Michael, where they sell the goddamn clothes that nobody else wants to fucking buy? Goodwill. The Alvin stores! That's what they'll do with your goddamn clothes, you son of a fucking bitches. I hope the fuck you close! Close Abercrombie and bitch! You pieces of motherfucking shit! I will shit on you! You need to be out of business, Army! It's time to tell Abercrombie and bitch if you're five pounds overweight, if you're two pounds overweight, they don't want you wearing their clothes! Give me that cat, give me that cat. Oh, don't drop it. Hey, youngins, I want you to tweet Emma Crombie and Finch. Send them this video. Everybody, everybody that gets this goddamn, that watches my video about Emma Crombie and Finch, the motherfucking haters. Tweet them my, this video. Tweet it to them. You're holding the camera too close to your face, you're blurry. I don't give a fuck! So is Amber Crombie and Finch. They're blurry in my mind. I see them. Oh my god! I see Amber Crombie and Finch now! Oh my god! I'm having a premonition! They're going out of business! Oh my god, I'm having a Yes! Get out of business, motherfuckers! Because we don't want you. We don't need a bunch of haters. You know, turn that stuff, I'm through. I'm done. Take a piss. Well, go take a goddamn piss, man. Just leave me the fuck alone. Why, man? Shut the fuck up. Grandma, yeah. You know, the other day I, on my on my Facebook, I told y'all send me some questions, and I was gonna answer them the whole week. This goes out from Heather, Mama, something. Talk about my dating days when I was younger. <laughs> Michael, should I tell that one story? Which one? About the girl I did ain't had no legs. Oh man. Yeah, tell us. <laughs> I was about 15, 16 years old. And this girl wanted to go out with me so bad. I mean, she was real, you know. But she was she was crippled. She had no legs. She was in a wheelchair. So wait a minute, she was crippled or didn't have legs? She had no legs. They were like stumps? They were stumps. I took her out, you know, and... I, we went to the movies, you know, and I, we looked at the movie, and I, I pushed the wheelchair, you know. After the movie, I was trying to get a little kiss, you know, and back off. Can't kiss, wouldn't let me kiss her. I said, I tell you what, let's go to the park. <laughs> she said, yeah, let's go to the park. I love the park. <laughs> we, we go, we going down the street, you know, and we're talking, you know, and she's telling about her dreams, you know, that she wants to have children, and I'm wondering, how the fuck are you going to chase them? <laughs> Not your me. Wait a minute, you're going down the street, are you driving, or are you pushing her wheelchair? I was pushing her wheelchair up the street. <laughs> you're like riding this bitch to save gas. Yeah, I'm driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> God. So anyway, she tells me, you know, her dreams, she wants to have children, and... And you know all this other stuff, and I'm thinking, you know, uh, if you have children, how the fuck are you gonna chase them? You you will just you will use your elbows to crawl around the floor and get them or something. I don't know. They should be crawling right with them. So, <laughs> so we made it to the park, you know, and we're, we're going around. You know, I, I put her on the sliding board, and she slides down. <laughs> that's true. No, that's not true. <laughs> I just want to add that. <laughs> God! <laughs> I want to see the truth, though. I was not going to slap her last. <laughs> no, but all kidding aside, you know, I, I put her in a swing. I did put her in a swing. And I was swinging her, you know. <laughs> you were pushing her? Yeah. Now, how old was she? Well, <laughs> I had to push her, Mike, because she couldn't get her legs. <laughs>
couldn't kick her legs. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it off! Not a chance. <laughs> you didn't see your pants. Jeez. That was true that I was in. <laughs> yeah, I was beating. <laughs> no, you know, you're swinging. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> <laughs> you ain't fucking right. <laughs> There's a special place in hell. Yeah. This is absolutely true story. Now, what kind of swing was it? Was one of those things that protects like? No, you're not. Oh. No, you're just cool. I know. I mean, like, I get that. I mean, like, <laughs> is one of those things you can just sit your butt on and that's it, or you get like a little kid no, swing no, where you sit them yeah. inside it. Sit your butt. <laughs> but you get it like this. Like. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so we had to push her. How old was this bitch? Uh, she was 14. Oh my god. What a hard life she lived. Well, she was born without legs. Anyway. So, we, we, she get, I get tired of swinging her, you know, so I said, look, look, let me push you a little more. So I push her around the fucking park. <clears throat> Come to the monkey bars. She said, I like the monkey bars. I said, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> I, I said, you know, I, I wasn't going to get none. So I'm ready to go home. So I said, look here. Let me put you over these monkey bars. You go, you climb, you see if you can scoot your way to the top. I got what she had to scoot. <laughs> so anyway, I put, I hang her in the damn monkey bars, right? <sighs> And by that time, she started cussing me, saying, This is the worst date I've ever been on. I'm thinking, bitch, you eat by yourself. <laughs> and she decided, you know, fuck you. So I got her hanging in the fucking monkey bars, right? She done called me a son of a bitch. I said, fuck you. I took her goddamn wheelchair and went home. <laughs> you took her wheelchair? Went home. So you left her hanging? Left her hanging. She was like about six feet up, you know? And she let go, she hit two other bars. So I know that wasn't going to happen. So I took a wheelchair, I, I got to the edge of the park, I'd leave her a wheelchair at the edge of the park, and I'd go home, fuck her. Left her hanging. First time I have ever left a woman hanging. <laughs> but anyway, that was my, that was my date. <laughs> I, I, I gotta go, goodbye. <laughs> Joshua Lyons. If I could date a celebrity, who and why? Well, let me see. First place, Kim Kardashian. She's a hoe. I wouldn't date her. I wouldn't fuck her with Michael's dick. No fucking way. Uh, Cher. Oh, fuck no. That guy didn't put it so wide, I'd probably fall in and get lost forever. No, it can't be Cher. What do you Cher. mean these names, Cher and Kim Kardashian? Because I'm trying to think celebrities who I date and why I want to date them. These are the ones I don't want to date. Oh, what about, what about Chaz Bono? <laughs> And she rather she rather kiss she rather kiss uh, Br uh, Bridget. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, goddamn, there ain't no celebrities I want to fuck. I mean, date. Is there any I won't? There's lots. Want Mila Kunis? Who's that? Who's Mila Kunis? Mila Mila Kunis. Okay, let's think of someone you want to fuck. What about B. Arthur? Hey, now she was hot. No shit, she was mod. Ha ha. I love Maud. And ass, Maud. She had a big ass too, man. I bet she could bunk over like a goddamn, look like a goddamn, uh, uh, uh no, nah, I ain't going there. Well, Charlie. She's dead. Have sex she might come back and haunt me. I ain't talking. No, shut up. She's dead. I ain't Give talking. Give me a kiss. Get out of here, my way. That's my goddamn blog. Rest in peace, B. You got your goddamn stuff. I'll fuck with your goddamn. Who do you want to have sex with and why? I didn't say, it doesn't say sex. It's who I want to date. Well, dating means you're gonna fuck them too. If I did them, they're gonna get fucked. Maybe you can date Taylor Swift and she can write a song about it. Hey, her. I like Taylor. No, she's too young, man. Maybe you can write, she can write a song. Wait, is she over 21? She's like 20 or something. No, she gotta be over 21. I don't know, so I'm gonna have to let that one slide, but I appreciate I appreciate it. Well, let me think. Let me think. You think of an answer, damn it. <sighs> What's that bitch's name that was in that, uh, the big lip motherfucker's kid? Are you talking about Liv Tyler? Yeah, she's, I, like, I date her. 
Yeah, she got nice ass. I ain't shitting you, man. Lip Tyler, let's me and you hit the bricks. I mean, go on a date. Me and you. I don't want to fall asleep because I miss you. Get out of here. And I don't want to miss my vlog. Leave it when I dream of anyway. you. Lip Tyler, she be the one I want to go out with. And why? She got a nice ass. And them big, thick lips like her daddy. Boy, I bet she can suck the chrome off a goddamn Taylor Hitch. So, yeah, that's it, man. Lip Taylor, she's a legend. Forget that hoe. What's her name? Kim Kardashian? Kim, yeah, she's a hoe, man. I bet you that goddamn put so. I bet that stomach smells. I bet it smells like a goddamn dead fish market. <laughs> Don't you know that's some stink ass fucking pussy there? And I went there. Not me. Uh, Reba McIntyre She's got a hot ass too For an old lady You know that Ugh. She must be what 65, 70 now <laughs> God, you're Still got a nice looking ass For her age she, I bet she had an operation Shit that That's straightened out though Grandpa I want to have sex with you She's hot And let me see <sighs> Me no know nobody else So Appreciate you Appreciate your question Josh <laughs> Go fuck away What are you doing This motherfucker off man? Next question Comes from Jeremy Dooley. Hang down your head, Jeremy Dooley. Hang down your head and cry. Hang down your head, Jeremy Dooley. Paul, motherfucker, you gonna die. His question. Grandpa, talk about remakes of movies. All right, you got Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And you got Charlie Chips and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Isn't that right? No, it's not right. What is it? You think Charlie Chip? <laughs> <laughs> Just Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Charlie Chip. I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, there's no comparison. Willy Wonka. Best movie like that. Charlie Chips. Fuck him. <laughs> not Charlie Chips. <laughs> Charlie and the, and the Chocolate Battery. Okay. <laughs> I get Charlie Chips. I really never. I like chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> anyway, you know, there's, there's no comparison. You know, you can't beat Gene Wilder. I like Johnny Depp, too. Don't get me wrong. I like Johnny Depp. But he ain't no Gene Wilder. I mean, I don't care about all the graphics and shit. I like the old-timey shit. Like uh, a Red Dawn. Red Dawn 1. Patrick Swayze would roll over in his motherfucking grave if he saw Red Dawn 2. In fact, piss on it. It was nowhere near close. To come, come, I, it, you, come on, man. You. I'll tell you a remake. That what? Was way better than the original. What? True Grit. Yeah, True Grit one was the best one. No, I'm saying the remake was the better. You full of goddamn shit. You had to fuck. You gonna tell me? Whoa! Ain't nobody better than the dude. What are you talking about? John Wayne was the best goddamn actor in history, ever. What are you talking about? You're gonna get the gun, you down, Pilgrim. What are you talking about? True Grit. John Wayne was the original goddamn. Yes, the remake is better, but the Cohen. The remake is not better. Nobody can act John Wayne. John Wayne sucked. Yeah, so is your goddamn mama. Not me, though. That Hollywood's got a thing about trying to trying to redo the past and make it better. You cannot redo the past. Oh, you hear what the Stop making remaking movies. Let the original stand for time forever. Leave the fucking goddamn good movies. I love you, son of a bitch. You goddamn bastard, you goddamn Hollywood. I bet. You hear what they're remaking right now? What? You ready for this? What? Your favorite. You're no, right? not the town. Yep, town. Oh town my town. God, that's the greatest movie ever fucking made. The town that drives sundown, yeah. and they're remaking it. Yep. Oh, who they got? Goddamn Pee Wee Herman gonna be the goddamn guy blowing the shit? Whoa, what shit? The. <laughs> when he had the guy in the back, had the that movie had the trombone man with a knife in it. Yeah. That movie sucks. Kept going to the back of the guys. It sucks. Tell you what, goddamn. You know I think I tell you what. I'm through this lock. Uh, Mr. Dooley, I I've had enough. Come on, fucking won't leave me alone. But remake movies suck! Okay, so all of you wanted a Cribs with Grandpa. So, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna add any special effects or sounds because I don't really want to do any of that. Just gonna go around this trailer, film. What are you doing? Don't mind me. Where's the hallway light? Is that it? Wait, what are you doing? 
cribs. I'm gonna do a thing where what about cribs. I'm gonna do a thing where I show your house and it looks oh, like. Oh hell no! You ain't showing my goddamn house. Hell no! What? No 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 no! You ain't doing that shit. What do you mean? You know I'm not like. Stop! What is happening? You are not doing it. Why? I'll stop. I didn't think you had a problem with it. Yeah, I got a big goddamn problem with it. A big goddamn problem. Okay. Crib. I got your goddamn crib. All right, it's off. All right, better be motherfucker. Look at him real quick. Hey, you, you don't belong. You don't live here. You don't belong in there. I got to piss. I, I, I go here. I'm watching. You're not gonna watch me go piss. Ahead. No, you piss. You go piss. I'm watching. Okay, so this is the bathroom. I'm, <laughs> this is the bathroom. You're not doing this in my house. All right. I'll break. Damn, boy, you made my ass itch. Okay, so this is... What? <laughs> just one room. Yeah, outside! That room, big old room. Don't fuck with me about this. I'm just recording your bed. No, you don't cuss me. I didn't cuss you. You just, you just cuss me. You don't cuss your fucking daddy! All right, you need to chill out. Just let me record the house. No! Stay out of my fucking room! Okay, let's just see where the magic happens. I'll show you some goddamn magic. Oh! Don't break my computer now. Let me show you some magic. No. Stop! All right, all right, okay, I'll stop. Now we're gonna show Grandpa's fridge. <laughs> okay! Stop it! I'm not filming anymore. I'm checking on my stuff like she didn't break it. Stop, I'm not filming! God damn! Stop! Stop! I'm gonna film your fridge! Ah! Get out of here! Ow! What is all over your floor? It's like rock! What are you doing? I'm getting shit ready. Ready for what? What's wrong with your eBay account? eBay? Yeah. I'm gonna sell on eBay. What the hell you got to sell? God damn! Where did I get for this, Mike? What the fuck is that thing? Breathing machine. Can you sell that? I ain't supposed to, but they don't know it. Fuck them. Don't sell that. It's heavy, god damn it. What'd you help me? We can put your TV on eBay. Goddamn game system! Sell that motherfucker. You sell anything on eBay, right? I guess. Ah! I ain't got no trash to fucking sell! Fucking shoot. Calm down. So get busy, stop helping me live, motherfucker! You understand me, goddammit? You gotta help me find some shit to fucking sell! What do I want me to look for? What do you want me to look for? Stop! Just tell me what to look for. What kind of trash are you looking to sell? The goddamn show ain't you! What is this really about? But I need money to pay my goddamn money, you motherfucker! How many goddamn money I'll tell you that you don't do anything but just give me one time? Shh. Maybe sometimes, man, you should've just been a fucking dream. And not a goddamn reality! You and Bridget need to drag your asses over here and help me clean my goddamn house. But no, y'all goddamn don't want to do that shit. Y'all too good for that shit. You already clean your own goddamn house. I've been in your nasty fucking house before. Your motherfucking house ain't fit for piss. Are you asking me to just leave? Is that what this is? You just want me gone? Is that what? Would it matter if I did? No. That's what I know. 
You're like a goddamn bad penny. You always show up and you ain't never going nowhere. What's wrong with you? Hurt. <laughs> Close up. I call the ambulance? Fuck you and your ambulance. Ain't call no goddamn ambulance on me. Are you pranking me or not? I'm fine. I'm well for the ambulance, for real. No, you ain't. We're just by phone. No, sir, you're not putting my phone with the eBay stuff. Put it right back where it was. Put the goddamn phone right back with the eBay stuff. I'm calling the cops with the phone first. You ain't calling a goddamn so. You just said you're having chest pains. Motherfucker, kid won't let me do a goddamn thing. Could you stop? I ain't talking to you. Shut the fuck up. You're talking about me. Well, goddamn, you're worth talking about. You ain't shit. You, 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 you just need to call Bridget. Come get your fucking ass and go home. <laughs> okay. I'm tired of shit. You a goddamn kid. I, I, I should. You should have been at yesterday's abortions. What did I do wrong? Being born. You were born. That's what was wrong. I don't know what I've done in this scenario. What did I do wrong for you to be mad at me? Because you won't go to your house and find me nothing I can sell on eBay. What do you want from my house? It ain't Bridget. I couldn't get 57 for that girl. You want a, well, you want a game? What? What is it? How about some of the wrestlers you got? I'm not selling those. Now I can get a fortune out of them goddamn wrestlers. I can probably make it up to pay my goddamn uh, cable bill for a fucking year. What'd I do? I'm trying to figure it out. You're not doing it fast enough, Michael. I'm trying to, to figure it out, Dad. You're not doing it fast enough, boy. What is fast enough for you? Uh, I'll wear it on now. I'm looking. Hurry up, bitch! Check now. Is it working yet? No, it ain't goddamn working! And I want my computer! It should be working! It's not working! It should be. Well, it should be and, and do or do different goddamn things, ain't it? You're all blurry right now. Yeah, I got your blurry, blurry hanging through my fucking legs. Now hurry the fuck up. Check now. Nothing still. What the fuck is wrong with this thing then? You broke it. Thanks for goddamn internet, man. Now! I'm trying to look at it. I'm trying. You need to this should be working. It's not working. Yeah, wait, wait, wait a minute. Sky just came on. Let me try this. Try again, shit. I ain't doing that. Now it's working. Now get the fuck out of my house. Oh, I can fix your internet. Then I gotta go. Go. Bye. Have a nice day. See you. I was having a nice day until I came over here. Well, then go the fuck home. You ain't gotta worry about it no Turn the goddamn thing off! Don't start hurting hard at your fucking ass. Ah. Please? <laughs> no. Bitch. I don't know what to fucking say! I'm looking at this stupid cut. A name Amanda Bynes? What, I think she was on Nickelodeon or some shit like that. Nick at night, now she's whore at night. But anyway, I got a goddamn question. Where the fuck are you, Dr. Drew? We definitely got a bitch here that's in fucked up something. I mean, come on, man. She, she's wearing these goddamn looking like a goddamn Afghan dog. She's so fucking full of drugs. She's accusing the New York police of groping her ass. Who would touch you, bitch? You so goddamn fucking ugly, you gotta sneak up on a glass of water. Dr. Drew, I know you don't like me. I know you're afraid of me. But I beg you, I beg you, Dr. Drew, help this stupid cunt. She has fucking lost it. Where the fuck did she come from, anyway? 
I think you need the pills more than she does. I swear to God, man! You can't be throwing your pills around! The bitch knees! Dr. Drew! Dr. Drew! Where are you? What is with this bitch? I mean, she's wearing these... Why is she even cut her hair to start with? You're going places, people are taking your picture, especially on the trampoline. It is you, bitch! And you're putting all this shit on Twitter. Why don't you write me a thank you, Grandpa? Cut, I'll write you back. I'll write you back in a fucking minute. I'll even give you my phone number. How about it, cut? You want to deal with Grandpa? I don't think you can say cunt. I don't know. I don't think. I, I, I said it. All right, slut. As in, dirty, stinking cunt. I can't say that. Fuck it, I did. Anyway, Amanda, write me, call me, get in touch with me, and I'll tell you how fucking fucked up you really are. Yeah, I hope it was worth all this shit. I'll pick up these things. I'll tell you, Michael, I wish goddamn Amanda was here. She eating these motherfucking pills off the floor. Goddamn. I swear to God. Amanda, where are you? I need my pills picked up. I've got some friends that wrote me this week. And they work for Walmart. They work for 15, 20 years. And their parents now all of a sudden, Walmart takes it one goddamn morning. One goddamn morning. And they give them a little pen. I've worked at Walmart 15 years. They don't have to do it, they fire them. Oh, you're taking too long on your break. Uh, 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 maybe, maybe you took you too long to take a shit. Uh, they make an excuse and find their goddamn people. They're firing them. Why? The bottom dollar. The bottom fucking dollar. Walmart, you sons of bitches. People be with you forever. And they're, they're, and they're getting old now. They can't find another job. And, and it's like when you find the goddamn greeters. Why? So you can save two or three dollars. You ain't passing the savers on to me. But you know something, motherfuckers? These people are dying, and they, 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 when they die, they won't leave a will to their children. They want to leave them a little something. And the only thing they can leave them down because you fired them is a goddamn walk. They won't have this. They won't have that. You have sold out America, Walmart. You are sellouts. You sold the fucking American people out. Sam Walton would do more than roll over his goddamn grave. He would piss on you motherfuckers. When are you gonna start caring about your people again? I remember the day I'd walk into Walmart and the employees, they'd be working and they'd be singing and they'd be happy and they'd be putting shit on the goddamn shelves and how are you doing? Welcome to Walmart. Now you walk in. Can I help you? And you turn them that way. You've made people hate Walmart. We need to boycott Walmart two days a fucking week. Nobody shop. A whole week I've gone through this shit. A whole fucking week. What if they don't know what you're talking about? Tell them what I did. Come on, say the words. He told me and made up a letter that I, I was still married and that the bitch wanted alimony. God damn you! <laughs> Just God damn you! You know something? Payday is a bitch. Payday is a mother chicken, motherfucker. Speaking of payday, what's this? Leave my goddamn money alone. That's my four dollars. Four? It is like four bucks. Do that. You mean, I want to give you for a tip for fucking me. Oh uh, yeah. But payday is hell, Michael. Trust me, it's coming. May not come today. May not come next week. May not come next month. But motherfucker, hell is coming down on your <laughs> fat
fucking ass. Give it up. I was you big old it. boy, smelly foot, goddamn short haired motherfucker. Your ass is mine. You know what else is coming? Yeah, your ass. That's 200,000 subscribers. You gotta walk in front of Walmart with that sign. Can we get out of that? Nope. Fuck that! I'm gonna get your ass back for what you did to me this time. This is a whole goddamn week. No sleep. You had me calling motherfucking. All right, so where are we going? Hungry. Yeah, is that the name of the place or? Hungry. I think I burnt my fucking finger, man. Did you burn it on? You know. Oh, the George Foreman girl. Yeah, piece of shit that you broke. Why didn't you get me stuff for Father's Day? I did get you fucking broke it. I only had that George Foreman girl for two and a half months. I'm talking about the fucking cup. Oh, that wasn't a goddamn... That, that, Enough. I don't want to hear anymore. 59 cent. Don't want to hear anymore. 59 cent and goddamn $2 of candy. Ruby shit. Happy fucking Father's Day. You are so grateful. I am. Thank you. I gave it back to you. Where are we eating at? Hungry. So we're going to Hungry right now. I'm going to Hungry with Grandpa. No, we're not. We're going to Robert's. You said it was Hungry. I'm hungry. Okay, you gotta be more clear with what the fuck you're talking about. And you just sit back. Okay, we're going to Roberts. Just have your card out and be ready. Oh, fuck this. No. We'll go to McDonald's if I'm paying. Shit. You mean La McDonald's? I'd rather go to Ula Hardy. Hardy's is good. Or La Burger King. Yeah. I'd go for Wobble. Let's go there. Fuck you. I'm going to Roberts. Roberts or Hungry? Which one is it? Hungry Roberts. Okay, so, AKA, oh, look at that. AKA, I asked where we were going, you were just saying you were hungry. And I look like a fucking retard now. But you are. So this is the place? This is Roberts. And they sell barbecue. This, barbecue this and is cheeseburgers. The, this is the place you went to when you dropped me off at, at Olive Garden. This is where I came to eat. I don't think you should turn yet. What? I thought you were about to turn, about to get fucking impaled. Who's this motherfucker? Oh. This place looks like it came out of the 80s. Shit. Best burgers and barbecues in town. At Robert's Drive In. Ain't drive in no more. I wonder what they call it that for. How you doing, Pop? Yeah. So aren't you? I'm hungry. And here I am, Roberts Drive. They used to be on Rivers Avenue. Some of the best barbecue and the onion rings are like, ah. The tea is delicious. Well, I'll let you know what I think. I didn't think I was good. i never been here before. Because you were tired of Didn't you used to take me here as a kid? Yeah. You know, you just come here for lunch. Man, they, they take that pork and they cook that. And they pull, they, they pull, it's called pull barbecue. Yeah, I know what pulled pork is. That's the best pulled pork, okay? Man, look at this food. I gotta admit, this looks pretty good. Oh, man. So these are their onion rings? That's an onion ring. Dude, that's probably the best onion ring I've ever ate. Okay, what's that? Barbecue sandwich. Look at that Damn, looks good. Let's check out my burger. Mmm. Oh, Ooh, boy. That's the burger. That is a big old burger. So remember, when you in Charleston, try Robert's Drive-In on Ashley Fosset. Ashley Fosset. Yep. Home of the best pulled pork and chalk. Probably best onion ring I ever ate. Delicious, man. Mmm. Mm. You need to get on that. We are full. I'm so full, I'm ready to go down and go to bed. Oh my god. What's old saying? Full as a tick? Yeah. Full as a tick eating a bitch out on a period. Or watch her squirt.
Ugh. What's this obsession with squirting lately? I don't know. I just heard about it. I thought it was cool. <laughs> you know what squirting means, right? Obviously. No, you don't. Uh, bitch, orgasms and squirts. No. Yes. No. Yeah, oh, what is it? <laughs> I'm not going to do it while you film it. They owe my ass about cleaning my closet. What do y'all think? You think I need to clean my closet? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it. If I can figure out how to do this motherfucker. Yeah, that'll work. You take your goddamn blankets, right? And you fold them son of a bitches. See, I, I, I did. The fuck? And you fold it real nice. And then you find a corner. And then you fold this one up. Real nice. That's a big goddamn blanket. You throw it. What the fuck is all this shit? What the fuck is all this? Fucking toys have I got? The fuck? Hangers on the goddamn floor. Hangers don't belong on the floor. Hangers belong on the rack! Dumb son of a bitch. More motherfucking hangers! Whew. You know I'm fucking tired. Everything's easy, man. I got fold up. There's just so much goddamn shit in here! I mean, Jesus fucking Christ! What are you doing? Shut up! There's just so much goddamn shit in here! Hey! Yeah. Oh my goddamn door, you fat motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, Barry! Open the goddamn door! Yeah, the room's closing. The bastard is closing. I'm, I'm very claustrophobic. I'm dying. I'm tired, goddamn. Open the goddamn door, motherfucker. Oh, you're so good. Son of a bitch, open the goddamn door. I'm on, man. Open the door now. I'm really claustrophobic. You're not getting out. Open the goddamn door. You peanut butter under your bed. The fuck happened to the camera? How you feeling? Camera's gone fucked up in the head. Goddamn thing! You're holding it. Grandpa, I got a goddamn problem. I didn't do it. I saw where Molly Cyrus, Molly done been on a goddamn talk show. First place, she looked, you remember that movie, Goddamn Blade, with, with uh, Wesley Snipely? Wes Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes and Grace Jones or whatever. I don't remember the main female. Anyway, she was a black woman. And had her hair all up, you know, looking like, uh, like a mohawk shit, you know. Molly Cyrus on the talk show wearing her hair like Grace Jones. She reminds me of Bridget Nielsen. You're talking about doing goddamn drugs with Snoop Dogg. I like Snoop Dogg, but Snoop I don't like Snoop Lion. Him. Huh? Snoop Lion, you mean. Snoop Lion. He changed his name to Snoop Lion. Why, he's some pussy or something? He, he, he's like the big fierce cat now, I guess. I don't know. What the fuck? He doesn't turn himself into a little cat? Molly! You were a role model. You had millions of goddamn kids copying you! Imitating you! You got And you changed. You changed to be a fucking whore! A slut! I wouldn't, if you were on fire, I wouldn't piss on you to put you out! You are nothing. Why you let all these kids down? And your goddamn daddy, that fucking uh, mullet looking motherfucker, fuck him too, you know? Cause if he was any kind of daddy, he cut your fucking ass. I don't think they're talking right now. But I guess because of the money shit, daddy.
pussy don't tolerate your ass. See, I don't give a fuck what people say what I do or what I say. Talk about me leaving somebody else to fuck alone. So I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Molly. You let all these youngins down. She wanted to be a whore and a role model. She wanted the best of both. I think you can pull dance too, can't you, bitch? But let me tell you something, Molly. You can put lipstick on a pig, and it's still a pig. Are you Sarah Palin now? What? Didn't Sarah Palin say that? Or someone Boy, say that? that's the same bad when I was a kid. Oh, they... Obama said that about Sarah Palin, didn't he? Yeah, I guess. I don't give a fuck. But it's, it's, but it's true. It's Molly, you a hoe. You turn into a hoe. Thank God. I never listen to your music. You know why? Because I think you suck. I think your music is garbage. I used to have to watch my boys on goddamn Disney because they like Miley Cyrus. But you know something, bitch? I was so glad when 30 minutes was up and I could turn your fucking ass off! So you go ahead, change your attitude, change your way of life, and you're going to be a guy. What the fuck was the name of that bitch did all this shit that I talked about a few weeks ago? I don't know. The one, the, the, the child star on goddamn Nick and Amanda. Amanda Bynes. You're going to be another Amanda Bynes. A piece of fucking shit, wannabe, has been, no good, fucking nothing, bitch. Bye, Molly. Take this motherfucker. You do not like Miley Cyrus. I hate that goddamn bitch. Turn that goddamn I'm through. I done talking about that tonight. Give me the goddamn camera. Okay. Motherfucker. Well, I do. Look here, I got I got a bone to bear. You like I got my shirt on. Yeah. Uh, I got a problem. There's a guy that everybody, a lot of people are calling a hero. They're calling him a fucking hero because he was a whistleblower. They're saying that what he did was right. Well, if he'd have been right, he'd have gone to Congress and says, I want to tell y'all what's going on. About the tap ins. He's one of the guy that went to like, the other country? Yeah. North Korea or some shit? I, I, you know, go to the cause and look in. Everybody's being listened to. Y'all need to know about this shit. Please, people, listen to me. But no, what does he do? He goes to WikiLeaks. No, he doesn't. He didn't go to WikiLeaks. He went to some goddamn some newspaper and told the story. Well, that's fine. I can live with that. But then your goddamn ass goes to China. Them motherfuckers don't like us, bitch. You probably told them everything. Then you go to Russia. You tell them everything. You are not a hero. You are a fucking traitor. How the fuck can you start talking about IRS and you give a little bit of answers, Miss Lesnar? You're the cause of people being spied on you're the one the IRS is checking their shit you're the culprit you're the main one so you're trying to cover your ass what the fuck is your problem lady and they're and they've got you on administrative leave and they're paying you fire your ass and maybe when Obama gets back from his hundred million dollar African visit maybe he'll have a few cents he can start the tours back in the White House our kids can't go see the White House the little darlings want to see the White House. They want to take a tour. They can't. Why? No money. We got $100 million to pay for a trip to Africa. I can fly to Africa for fucking $1,000. Not him. He, he had to take everybody with him. Snowden, you're a traitor. Lesnar, they need to fire your ass. Obama, maybe you ought to take half the time in Africa. You save half the money. The way I look at it. That's the government... As Grandpa sees it. <laughs> Turn that motherfucker off. I've had a lot of you youngers ask me about the Trayvon Martin and the George Zimmerman. Well, I'm going to give it to you. My opinion. My opinion is you're a crime watch. You're not a goddamn cop. You aren't supposed to really carry a gun. A gun! A goddamn gun! You are supposed to observe! Observe! Observe means you see something going on! 
you call the goddamn police. That is their fucking job. Not him. I don't give a goddamn arrest ass on what's happening. I have kept my mouth shut. I have been listening and I have been observing and I have been thinking about this and now it's time. A young man, 17 years old, is fucking dead. Big macho man, go carry a gun. Scared for his life. If you were scared for your goddamn life, motherfucker, you shouldn't even have been out there. You should not even have been out there. You should have been home watching goddamn Disney or something you goddamn like. My heart goes out to his mom and dad. They're blaming. You know, what if it was the other way around? Maybe Trayvon saw the gun. Maybe Trayvon said, this motherfucker's gonna kill me. I gotta fight my way out of this. Nobody said that shit. It could have happened that way. Trayvon could have been fearing for his life and fought back. Now, they want to bring up the marijuana. Marijuana does not make you go crazy. So don't hand me the shit about the goddamn marijuana and Trayvon Martin. On the other hand, Trayvon, you know, we weren't there. I wasn't there. I don't know what happened. But I know one thing. One goddamn thing that I can say more than anything else. I don't care who's right. Who's wrong? They both could have been wrong, but there's one motherfucking problem. You should have left the goddamn gun at home, you son of a bitch, or a 17 year old boy wouldn't be goddamn dead. You hear me? Goddamn. Take this goddamn Michael. Take it. Chill. That's nasty. Nasty! Here, mother. Yeah, 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 yeah. You cook it. You gonna burn yourself? Ah, hell, what you do it? You gotta learn to cook sometime, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> you? you got you. What's that? It's food. Some sort of like breakfast casserole. It's food. That's all he needs to know. It's food. It's breakfast casserole. Yeah. Or lasagna or. And that's all you need to know. And then y'all want to eat what Papa's cooking? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, did y'all see Papa burn himself when y'all was outside? <laughs> Take a look. Come look. It ain't funny. <laughs> if Mike would have been helping me. What would you say, Johnny? That looks nothing good. It does look good. I think he's just saying none of it looks good. That's what he did say. It, it, it is goody. Daddy, it is goody, Daddy. Thank you. It is goody. Me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, how are them eggs cooking? They are cooking right. Try that, Mike. Put a little extra on the side. Oh my god, that's good. Mm. Never look at the stuff the same way anymore. Mm mm. mm. Well, there you go, youngins. What did y'all think about it? Nasty. Yeah. Yummy. Oh, it was good. Oh, it was yummy and goodie. What'd you think, Johnny? JC didn't like it? That was pretty good. That's it. Like, subscribe, favorite. What's going on, you guys? Grandpa here. And this is Trader Channel. I don't and sound like that. Yeah, you do. Today, I'm going to tell the story about the time I crapped my pants at the fair. Wait, 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 wait. We ain't going to let me crap my, my pants. Tell me you so one time... Pants. 
I ate too many fried mushrooms at the fair. And my ass was, it stunk. And I seen people You walk, need to knock that off. But my ass always stinks. You need to knock that off. That, I'm being grandpa, who are you? Shut up, pickle boy. So anyway, I, I went to- I got your pickle boy. Pickle boy, time for you to stay out of here. I don't talk like that. Time for you to stay I don't see stuff like that. Okay, so. I went to the fair and I ate some fried mushrooms. And I was walking around the I fair. I'm gonna put my foot up your butt. And I pooped all in my pants. Liar. And I stunk like poop all Liar. day. Liar! Pickle boy, what can I do to stop smelling like poop? I smell like poop now. <laughs> All I smell like is cigarettes hey, and poop. Hey, ain't mother chicken, boy! Poop and cigarettes. I smell like a cigarette filled with poop. Hey, hey, there's a mother chicken, boy. That's all I gotta tell you. I ate some of that breakfast lasagna all and, right, I, that's and I pooped my pants after it. That's enough. That's enough. What's wrong? You don't like it? You need to turn that off now. You make me break character right now. Don't like what? Man, I'm back to being grandpa now. I'll never forget the time that. That was enough now. <laughs> I remember one forget the time I went to I went to Costco and we was pushing this buggy. I ain't never been to Costco! Well you've been in this store, you been. I went to Costco and I had to poop. That's enough. That's enough. That's it. That's enough. And there was a guy giving out free samples of fried chicken. And I ate the fried chicken and I pooped my pants right there at Costco. But I remember one time I was 17 years old, and I went out, on, and I went out on a date with a girl. Her name was Bethy Joe, and what? we and we were, and we went to the Dairy Queen, and, That's she, enough. and she kissed me on the lips, and I pooped my pants. <laughs> right there in the car, I pooped my pants. That's never the goddamn poop. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about YouTube. <laughs> I pooped my pants all in the Dairy Queen parking lot, and my ice cream smelled like poop. Well, I'm gonna get out of here now. Grandpa saying goodbye. I gotta go poop. Give me that camera. I'm gonna go Walmart and poop. I'm gonna. I like to poop when I'm in Give the van. Give me that camera. I remember one time I pooped right in the laundry room, right on top of a pile of clothes. You got a spider eating looking. I pooped right on a pile of clean clothes. Yeah. We had to rewash them. That's enough. That's enough. Say <laughs> goodbye. Give it up. Say Don't goodbye. I remember one time I pooped right here in this closet. Say goodbye! It was right here. Ah! Oh God! See ya! I thought you could make homemade brownies. Got time for that shit? You did it in like five minutes before. I'll do that another night. Grandpa knows how to make homemade brownies and he's holding out on us. So what are we making today? Go away. Why? I want to film this. Why? All you do is laugh at my food. That nasty. That, did I laugh at that food? It was delicious. So what is this? I'm making brownies. With? With a box. With bacon! I wasn't going to tell them yet. Oh, so I ruined the surprise? You ruined it. <laughs> Sorry. Make a big one. So today Grandpa's making peanut butter fudge brownies with chocolate icing on top and bacon. I got this! Bye! What were you thinking? I was thinking it wasn't that fucking hot. I'm gonna test and see if it is. Yeah. Why have you not learned from taking pans out of the oven yet? Stick them goddamn pans up your goddamn ass! Oh yeah, that's the, that's the kind of smoke you gotta worry about breathing in. You know, you need to suck in my dick. <laughs> you know way I do that? I can do it better. Look at you. A oh, professional egg cracker. That's too many eggs. It says you need four eggs. That's five I right there. Five. This is gonna be an eggy tasting motherfucking brownie.
We better measure out the oil correctly. Oh, Jesus Christ! What did you just do? Fuck you. Hand getting tired? Yeah, my hand is tired. Wait, that pretty? No, still got missing to go. Missing to go? I'm done. <laughs> Over the bacon. You missed that goddamn bacon one more motherfucking time. No! If you put the bacon on the top of it, like I think you're gonna do, it's gonna burn. Wait a minute, I see what he's doing. I guess I should apologize to you, shouldn't I? You make almost like a freaking brownie lasagna. Mmm, mmm. Bacon is going in the middle of this brownie, and more batter will be poured over it. Ooh, yeah, get that grease in there. You reckon that ain't gonna boil over? <laughs> Who gives a fuck anyway? Well, that came together quick. Now we just wait for it to bake and eat. How long it take? You know how to read? No, not really. Can you get the box? <laughs> 30 minutes. Oh shit, my brownies, Michael. God damn. Oh shit. We got about a minute. Shit. You got it. Oh, they're out. Or just save the day. Here we go. Oh, oh my god! Jesus. Just been away from the brownies. <laughs> yeah. Away from me. Oh shit. Oh, it stinks real bad, dude. I'm gonna zoom into them. Oh, it stinks. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Can you taste the bacon? No. But it was good. Make do with some brownie. I don't want that piece. I ain't no bacon in that piece. I want a metal piece. Well, there's bacon all through. Look at it. I'll take one of these pieces, please. Me too. Here we go. Oh shit. Yeah, Michael. Ow! Oh! <laughs> oh, that bacon. <laughs> Ow! That motherfucker's good. Mmm. Oh, oh. Mmm. It's delicious. Once again, I did it. I'm very good. I'm very hot. Oh! Mmm! That's a big bite bacon. It is good. That bacon's good in there. Done it again. The, the, the taste of the, the saltiness of the bacon with the sweetness of the brownie. Mmm. You guys try that. Try using a little more bacon than what I use, though. Bridget. 
This is Grandpa. Hey. Uh, we got a problem. What? When's the last time you've been home? Uh, a few days ago. Uh, your house looks like a hurricane done gone through it. You what? got, you got, you got stuff growing in your sink. What? You've got stuff growing in your sink and crawling. I don't know what it is, but your house, oh my, that boy has ruined that house. He got, I'm telling you, he has eaten stuff and just left it sitting on the counter. It's done gotten hard and dry and it looks like earthworms and shit are already starting to eat on it. Oh my God. I, I, I think you, you need to try to do whatever you got. I'll put it this way. I didn't do it. If so, I don't care if you did it or not. It's done. I if, if somebody was to go in, they would they would get y'all for unfit human habitation. Well, he better clean it. I'm not doing it. He better hire a maid or something. He ain't gonna do nothing, Bridget. He doesn't say wait on you. I cleaned that place, you know, before I left, so... He said if you don't clean it, then they ain't gonna get clean. Fine. So, you know, I don't know what it is you got to do. Time to call the maid. I ain't doing it. I clean before I left. All right, Bridget, whatever. Bye, Bridget. No, Wait. don't you call Bridget. Oh, I got Bridget right now. Bridget, he's full of shit. Bridget. Huh? Oh, yeah, right. I'll be filming this. Oh, give me that camera. Give me that camera. Yeah, I'm filming it. Give me that loudspeaker. How do I get a loudspeaker? No, leave it on speaker. Hey. Michael is lying to Bridget. You all seen his house. That's all I got to say. You all, you all seen his house. I'm taking the camera home, and I'm going to upload it. Bridget, Dad, stop. Stop what? Filming this. No, I'm not. <laughs> I can't believe the boy's that nasty. I thought I raised him a lot better. You raised him exactly like that. But evidently, the boy never learned from me. He taking deaths after his mama. His mama was that way. He's her, filming all. Her this. mama was that way. Oh, uh, Bridget, you want to talk to him? Because he's going to put a video of our apartment on the video online. Hey, nothing she can do because I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, good. She says good. Yeah, see, Bridget agrees with me. So it's going up. When are you getting home? Tomorrow. So I got to sit through this for another night. Well, we got to sit through what another night? The house. You just told it was clean. How much does a maid cost? I thought you said, what do you need a maid for? I thought you said it was clean. You don't need a maid in a clean house. Dad, I don't need this right now. You do not need a maid in a clean house. I don't care who Bye, you are. Bye, Bridget. Thank you for brew. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that pop. All right, youngest. I'm gone. Bye. You all knew that my sister, she passed away a couple months ago. Well, I had a niece. And she's not doing too good. She's in the hospital. She's been there a little over a week. And they expect every breath to be her last one. Susan's a good girl. But lungs are shot, some other things, but I'll miss Susan, but as of right this moment, she's not gone yet because I hadn't had a phone call. My problem. My problem. And you know who you are because I know you watch my videos. You're a piece of shit. When you were little and your daddy walked away from you and your well, sperm donor walked away from you and he didn't want nothing to do with you mama was there mama was there she took care of you she fed you you may not have had the best clothes in town but you had clothes you may not have had the best toys in the neighborhood but you had toys You're an asshole. Your mother's been there over a week. 
and they've been trying to get in touch with you for a week and you're ducking the phone calls. Michael went to your Facebook page today and instead of saying, my mom's sick, anything, you got little cartoon characters on your goddamn Facebook. Well, Bo, I want you to know I'm saying this on video because I ain't never talking to you again. I got no more respect for you. I don't want nothing else to do with you. You know, it's funny, you know, when you... When somebody in your family's going, I don't care how bad things are. I don't care what problems you have with the person. It's still family. I've got a son, Charles. He and I have been close in five, six years. Didn't talk for four of those years. But you know, I got to thinking, you know, I says, my problem with Charlie isn't what he does. It's not with how he runs his life. Because, now don't get me wrong, this boy, he gets up in the mornings, he goes to work. He does his job. He pays his child support. He goes home. Has him a couple of beers, watches a little TV, gets on, the, gets on the Facebook. Charlie's not a bad boy. The, my problem with Charlie was, he didn't meet my expectations. But you know something? He don't have to. He don't have to meet my expectations or what I want him to do with his life. He's a grown man. He has to do what he thinks is best to do with his own life. I now have a relationship with my son. We talk now. We talk on the phone. We're Facebooking. And I'm happy with that. I love all five of my kids. And I love all nine of my grandchildren. It would kill me knowing that I was in the hospital sick and on my deathbed. And my son wouldn't come see me. Because he was ashamed, he was embarrassed, or he was mad with me about stuff. If that would be the case, then he's not my son. I guess I'm a little ticked, you know? And Charlie, I know you watch my videos, because you watch them all, sucker. I love you. Don't you ever think that I don't love you, because I do. You live for yourself, son, and you do what you have to do to make you happy. You don't have to make me happy. But that's really a problem with a lot of families nowadays. They, they, they're not talking to the kids, and the kids aren't talking to them because they don't, they don't quite do what the parents want them to do, or they don't quite live like the parents want them to live. So the parents get mad, and, and they want to argue with them and fight with them. Man, they're going to grow up. They're going to live like the way they want to, not the way you want them to. I understand that. And my so-called ex-nephew, don't worry about me no mobile. I got nothing, nothing after this to say to you. You've let your mama down, but you will pay. You will pay the price. One day, probably not today, may not be tomorrow, but you'll realize that was your mama. She's not there anymore. And you can't talk to her anymore. And you can't hug her. And you can't kiss her. And you just can't do nothing. I'm pissed. So, Bo, be happy with your life. Because AGP's family, my side anyway. I can't talk about, about your grandmama's side. But on my side, you don't exist. So you're wearing the shoot now. So when you're in the hospital and you need somebody, don't call me. I ain't coming. Live your life. Have fun with it. Do what you think you need to do with your life, boy. Susan, I love you. I never saw you that I didn't leave. And you say, Uncle Charlie, I love you. I remember when you were three years old. And I just got in a car. And I took you for a ride with me because I went somewhere. And I got in a wreck. Wasn't a bad wreck. I just hit the fender, you know.
But Susan was sitting there in the front seat of the car, and she was, you know. And I said, Susan, don't tell, don't tell your grandma and your granddaddy about this, okay? Don't tell them uh, Uncle Charlie got in a wreck. She said, okay, okay, Uncle Chai, Chachi, okay, Uncle Chachi, okay, Uncle Chachi. I said, okay, I'll buy you an ice cream. So I took her and bought her an ice cream and went back to the house and she went bust out that door. She went, Grandmama, Grandmama, Uncle Chachi got in a wreck. I was in the car, Charlie got in a wreck. I said, <laughs> Oh, I got a lot of little stories about Susan, but that's the one that sticks out in my mind the most. I hope everybody's wrong and I hope she comes out of this well. But if not, Susan, I love you. You were my You were the first kid. Both sides. Imagine. Anyway, Charlie, I love you, son. Kimberly, Jennifer. I love all y'all. Don Michelle. Michael, you know I care about you, boy. Rest, you know, those are my five youngins. Charlie, Jennifer, Kimberly, Michael, and Dawn Michelle. She lives in Alabama. Love all five of my youngins. And all nine of my grandkids. Anyway, I'm getting a little misty-eyed now, and I, I think it's best I get off, because I'm going to say some shit that I really don't want to say and hurt some feelings that I don't want to hurt. Not really. But anyway... Bye, young, and I'll see you on the next one. To you right now, Michael. It was a prank. No, it wasn't a prank. She's going to get her shit and move in. Do you still believe that? I went over, I talked to her, I apologized for all the stuff, and I, I wanted to see Michael, her. that bitch is crazy, man. She'll move it just because she can aggravate me. You broke your coffee pot. And there was coffee in it. Well, I guess I won't be drinking no coffee, no will. Will you got any words for Tina? Stay away from my house! I think she just really enjoys messing with you, you know? What? I think she really enjoys just screwing around with you. Screwing with your head. This pisses me off, man. I did not, I, I swear to God, I did not ask her for coffee in your face. I think she just really wanted to do it to you. She did her number. And then everybody walked away and leave me to clean. I mean, I didn't expect, once you threw the coffee pot, I knew that I couldn't stop you. You already done it. You could have stopped me. I couldn't have stopped you. I didn't have enough time. A lot of good that's doing you. Oh, shut up. Tell you I'm in this mess. Why did you put me on Craigslist this is needing a roommate? I didn't. All them phone calls I got, Michael. That was me. That wasn't you. You goddamn put me out on God. You, you sold me out, man. I called. That was all me. I didn't put your number on Craigslist. You sold me out. Hi, it's me, it's Ashley. I was just calling about the room on Craigslist. Um, I'm a bisexual college student. You think she called you? That was me. I was also the man asking about the room and I will got you, sir. You know I don't believe you. I just did the voices. I'm calling about the room on Craigslist. Shut up! I'm trying to tell you it was me. I'm trying to tell you, set me up, man. <laughs> Uh, make, count this as revenge for trying to show my filthy apartment. Yeah, move, please. Oh, please, I gotta please that tough. I don't think he wants to mess with me no more. You're not my son anymore. Oh, boy, you said that three times this month. You're not my son anymore. You're definitely Tina's son. Ah! What, did you break your wrist pushing me? Well, you know I got a bad wrist anyway. Then maybe you shouldn't be trying to hit me.
Did it like when we wore a TV I didn't watch your TV that day. Dad, it was a joke. I didn't watch TV with her. It was a prank. You might think. Oh, I know what it is now. You want her as your new mama. Oh, yeah, okay. Is that a possibility? Hell no. <laughs> Come here, come here. Well, here I am with my goddamn dogs. Jesus Christ, they're all over me, Michael. We love you. They're all over me, man. I swear, I goddamn. Get big galoots all over me. Hey, they gotta go. Bridget, get rid of your goddamn dogs. I ain't standing with no dogs. I, are you big loot? You gonna bite me? Ah! 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 ah God damn! Michael, help! Help, Michael! Help! Help! God! Licking you! Oh no! Ah! Ah! ah. Don't go to eat my phone! I'm scared. I ain't bitch kissing no goddamn dog. I'm being that now. That is not gonna happen. Get out, Bella. Michael, call your dog, please. Call your dog, Michael. Get out. You don't have to deal with that. Wait, wait. Are you scared of her? Damn dog. Scared dog up here. She was not. Look at that. She's trying to sit next to you and lick you. God damn, dog! Your breath stays. Get the fuck away from me. She just wants to hug. Bye. Got here. I'm there, Michael. Come on. Get the goddamn. Get. I gotta go. I gotta go. You gotta get. I gotta do something. You leaving, huh? No, I ain't leaving. Them goddamn dog. Nah, show that dog. Don't do that shit. Okay, so dad is making something and he won't tell me what. What is done you'll find out? I'm just seeing all kinds of bacons and cheeses and potatoes and like cream of chicken over there. Nope. Well just turn it off. What the fuck is that? That's what I eat for breakfast. Oh a pot of maggots? Yep. So grandpa ate a pot of maggots for the line. <laughs> oh, so that's that pulled pork. Okay, grandpa knows I love this dish. Yeah, but I'm grandpa it up. Uh-oh, he might ruin it by doing this now, everybody. Let's watch him screw it up. You ain't gonna eat it. This is a Boston butt grandpa made with potatoes last night, I assume. Bacon. More bacon. <coughs> Are you coughing all over the potatoes? Oh, that grease one ready. Oh, who's screwing this puppy? Me or you? Oh, it's not cream with chicken, it was cheddar cheese. Damn, boy, you can you read. Pick a boy, can read. That's about all he can do. All right, what you gotta do is you gotta, you gotta put your meat in, put your cheese on top, mix in your bacon, fry your potatoes. Which, they're done. Turn that off so you don't burn the house down. When you ever cared about that? I guess never. And this is a potato onion mixture. Grandpa has made this before in a different way and I love it. So this this will be an interesting twist on it. Everything I do is twist. Come on, I'll shake it up, baby, now. My mama never shook up nothing. Twist and shout. Shut up. Okay. I'll run you out of here.
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, baby, now. Come on and walk it on out. I got a fucking headache now, Michael. This is just a new twist on making corned beef hash, roast beef hash. Except I'm using pork butt. Basically, what it was is the next day after Dad spent all his money on a pork butt that we'd have for dinner, we'd have no money left for food. Dang, that's a goddamn line. You need to stop that. It's true. We would have no more money, so we'd put our scraps together to see what we can come up with. You feel good, Michael? Yes, I do. Looking good, Pop. We can just get a chunk of this meat. See what it tastes like. Mm-hmm. That's good. Then you mix that cheese sauce all up in there. I think somebody's calling you. Yeah, I'll read it in a minute. I want to see this come together. How long has it got baked for? About 30 minutes. Nice. Oh my god. Then I have to prove alone. So this is a Cheap leftover casserole you can make. Everything here is leftover out the, that I had, and it cost me a dime. That's it for about 30, 45 minutes, and then we'll take a look at it. Try to fuck her off. Give me a Freaking plate. All the goodies are in the bottom. Here we go. Yeah, you're going to take the first bite. I know. I'm going to let you do it. It's going to be burning hot. That's why I ain't going to touch it. And Michael, I swear to God, it's hot. I can tell. Mmm. Mmm. That's roast beef hash, grandpa's twist way. Shows you what it looks like, man, all together. Yeah. Look at that. Potatoes. Roasted pork. Bacon! Mmm. Cheese. I'll give it a taste. Fuck, that is good. It's real good. Mmm. So there it is. This is leftover casserole. Damn! That's just awesome. Another victory for Grandpa. Ain't even had no goddamn cigarettes! Yeah, don't forget your motherfucking bag! Should I go? Good idea. We'll throw up again. Oh god damn it, he just went out, motherfuck! See, motherfucker! <laughs> and you want me to eat a goddamn meatball sandwich? Now you don't have a fucking knee. I didn't hurt your knee. Here, sit down. Oh, what's wrong with Fago? Look, you got an orange Fago right there! You've been sitting there for four fucking days! You just want something to bitch about is what it is.
It's been there for four fucking days! How's your knee? Hurt. Here. Get your goddamn hands off me, motherfucker! I'm gonna can't help you! Don't touch me! Well, I'm sick. We should go so we don't get sick. And if I ain't no better, about three o'clock in the morning, if I ain't no better, your ass come back and take me to the hospital. Okay. You don't have a broom anymore? Did you break it? That's in my closet. What closet? Your bedroom closet? In there! Oh, Jesus. Put your goddamn stuff in my goddamn chair! You did it! You had to the right one, I got in wouldn't have to. Probably leave leaving that me to clean too. Well, I would, but you're sick. I'm pretty sure you do get the meatball. I do fucking not! He does too. Liar! You said you were an Italian. Is meatball, is meatball not an Italian sub? Oh my god. Why did God, why did you give me such a dumb motherfucking child? What did I do to deserve him? Okay, I am going to Dad's bathroom. So I can film the shower curtain. Hey, Dad! What? You use the shower curtain? It's up there, right? I guess that was an obvious question, huh? Hey, you get some pies on with you? Pies? Yeah. You got some pies? Yeah. Of course I'll take some of them pies home with me. Get all your stuff for all you want. <laughs> all at one, I'm taking every one of them. I don't care. Alright, let's see what I'm gonna take. Bridget, come look. Alright. I will take an apple pie. Get a peach. These are a dollar a piece? No, that's four for a dollar. Oh, nice. No, five for a dollar. You want a peach, Bridget? Yeah. Wait a second. You had ginger ale. I had a little boy ride his bike up to the store for me earlier. You did not. All that shit. You can never have too much ginger ale. So you just wanted more. Yeah. I wonder what else is in there. Ah. Oh, you got, I bet you got another bottle in there. Or case. So there we go. Like, subscribe, subscribe. Hey, favorite. Hey. When you go my pies? Huh? When you go my pies? You said I can have all this. I didn't say shit. Huh? I did not say you could have it. Ah! <laughs> Ow! What the fuck? It's a Sanoko! Pretty... What size is your gas tank going? Huh? What size is your gas tank going? Right here? Right here? Alright. Huh? Here. Oh. Isn't that weird how they place it just oddly like that? You're getting fueling. Going up the country just to get away. Is it dangerous to have a camera right here? What? They seem not to have cell phones. What about a camera? A cigarettes. Oh my shit. Go away. <laughs> what are you filling up? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much this shit is. I don't see every time. Right. Country, see the USA. Cause everything I ever did was wrong. People want me to sing more. They want me to teach you how to sing. Actually, I can sing perfectly. You can't sing better than me, bitch. Thirties and minutes. This is gonna be a new feature of mine. Once, twice a month, I'm going after deadbeat sperm donors. First one, I'm going after my own sperm donor. Joshua Henry Watson. The last I heard, he lives in Pennsylvania. They see the big man with the fire department. But what they don't know, 
is that he's been gone for almost seven years. Well, he's been gone longer than seven years, but hadn't paid a dime on his youngins, all three of them. He walked out on them. He would go and sit on his girlfriend's porch, and Jenny would sit there and watch him all night long. And then he'd wonder, what's wrong with you? He all of a sudden, I had surgery, and he left. Tried to take the boys from Jenny, but I wouldn't let that happen. You know, Grandpa ain't gonna let that motherfucker shit happen at all. This thing went on and on and on till finally, oh, the only way we found him was we had to, we had to make a police report saying he was disappeared, we couldn't find him. And then he calls my daughter and gives Nazi, why are you looking for me? Why are you calling the police? Well, you dumb motherfucker! You didn't even have the balls to say you were gone! You're a low life piece of shit! They gave you an appointment with child support. You walked in. You told the lady behind the desk, those aren't my fucking kids. And I'm not paying a fucking dime. And you walked out. Finally ended up going to court without you. Because you ain't had the balls to stand up and be a man. You ain't no man. You ain't shit. Josh, I'm not playing with you anymore, son. Son, fuck you. You ain't not, son. If you had a son like you, I'd... Goddamn flush your ass down the toilet somewhere. I wonder if Steve Elderton's looking for him. Oh, yeah, Steve is looking for him. Uh, and uh, quite a few of the Vikings. But I don't care about that. I care about me and mine. You tell the people, we go. To, I, I, I'm getting the custody of the boys, and you go to them and say, you can't come because you're afraid of me. You weren't afraid to steal my money. You weren't afraid to live up on me for all those years and never pay a dime. Only time you ever took a bath and said, man, goddamn, Josh, go wash your ass. Now, my, my youngest in, 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 uh, in, in Pennsylvania, his name is Joshua Henry Watson. He lives somewhere around the middle of the state, I think. He's hiding. He won't, he don't want to, he takes, he take, he works under the table so he don't have to pay his child support. He goes by the nickname of Bull. He's married to a woman named Mary. And he's supposed to be in the volunteer fire department. Now, Josh, I ain't coming out to dress you because I'm going to make another video because I got a good friend, Melissa, who has a deadbeat motherfucker that lives in Louisiana. And I'm coming out to him next time. Them youngers didn't ask for this problem. These youngers didn't ask for you not support them. And why is it grandparents usually are the ones end up getting these kids and raising them? Because the mother can't because she can't afford to work and, 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 and take care of kids too. Well, Josh, I know you watch my videos. I hope you like this one. You want to share it with your damn people. I'm sure they'd like to know all about you. I'd say we could spell it out for him, but he couldn't read it. Yeah, I wish I'd spell it out for you, but you couldn't read it. Anyway. Josh, you have a good one. And youngins, happy hunting. Bye. Okay, well, I don't know who does it. Damn it, Bobby, you're full of shit. <laughs> I said this again. I know what it is. I'm going from the mirror. <laughs> Hey, Mikey. I heard on the news yesterday that Ben Affleck is going to be the new Batman. What the hell? Ben Affleck? Which one? The new Batman? Come on, man. Wait, where did Batman have a role? I mean, I can't figure this one out. Wait a minute, Ben Affleck's in good shape. Oh, come on, man. He's always going to be an old man. You know, are they going to geriatric fucking Batman now? Bruce Wayne was old. Did they run out of goddamn reading men in, in, in Hollywood to play Batman? How old is he now? About 45, 50? He's probably 43. Oh, no, he's older than that. Look at him. Yeah, he's probably getting... Probably, he looks young because he's probably getting all that damn Botox shit. You know, the dude putting your face and shit. You, you might get a bulldozer in your fucking belly, boy. Because you sure, how you gonna wrestle with man? You do that more, man. Yeah, you know how you gonna get cut. You, that's a joke, man. I'm like Superman. Because that's Superman's Batman. That's not even a woman. Funny as hell. I gotta admit, though, you ain't a bad actor. You ain't a bad actor. Man, how is he not a good choice? He's a good actor. Batman, come on. What are you gonna do? Take your jacket, get your wheelchair, roll up your Batmobile, let you get in it? A bit after like. Rethink, man, because you'll get hurt. Because you, you, your ass ain't gonna fit in the Batmobile. Uh, your big ass, your big ass ain't gonna hold up the utility belt. What do you mean, he's gonna get hurt? It's a movie. You better make sure you get a doctor on set all the time, because, brother, you're too old to be playing Batman. You know, if they let you play Batman, then they need to let me play goddamn Superman. Because I guarantee you I'm in better shape than you are. You really think that, man? Easy AGP flying in the, I'm put away, you're going to AGP. I mean, really. But Ben Affleck, give it up, son. You're too old. You don't have the mobility you used to have. Nah, you just ain't going to make it. I was watching the MTV Music Awards the other night. 
And what did my wandering eyes did appear? Molly Cyrus jumped out licking her goddamn tongue all over the fucking stage! Like a goddamn cat! You out there with them goddamn pigeon legs and your ass looking like a raw chicken! Millions of young girls looked at you as an idol, a role model. You, our young lady, are a slut. You, young lady, your daddy should cut his dick off and throw that son of a bitch in the trash before you shot out of it. The best part of you about you, Millie Smiley, whatever the hell your name is, Cyrus, you should have been left to come stain on the sheets. You can't twerk, bitch! You come out with your tongue all hanging out like a goddamn dog looking for a drink of water. That's what you look like, Molly. You try to twerk, you can't twerk. You gonna lick some big woman's butt. Walt Disney would turn over in his grave if he knew his company hired sluts like you. I ain't got nothing to say about you. Man, cut, cut that camera. I'm through that bitch. She ain't, she ain't nothing. She ain't up on a goddamn. Who? What's the matter? She's just, I don't, I don't, I'm done with that bitch. I'm through with her. She's a slut. She's a whore. She's an ass licker. All right, y'all boys want to see a magic trick? I do. Okay, here we go. So, there was this government pool. It wasn't no government pool! Chill out. Okay, so there was a government pool, and there was these little white kids, and they went swimming hey, in the government pool. Hey, you can't hey, tell it right! What are you talking about? You tell own... the damn thing right! You gonna do it, do it right! You don't own the rights to this trick? Okay. Now I don't! I'm okay. it to you! So, do I use creamer or salt? Oh my god, Michael! What? Creamer. You're doing it right! Make okay. a goddamn creamer thing on Jesus' mother freaking Christ. Okay. And you're gonna do it, do it right. Okay, there's there was these white kids. Get out of the way, Bridget. No, I'm not touching this. Okay, so wait. You're doing it wrong! Oh, oh masterful one, please teach us how this trick goes. Alright. They built a neighborhood back in the 80s. And they wanted a pool. But they didn't want to pay for it. <coughs> so white people and black people got together and they went to the government. They said, Mr. Government, we want a pool. And we need it. So government said, okay, I tell you what, y'all get along good, we're gonna build a pool. So they built the pool. And the white people, they were swimming in the pool. Ha 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 Soaking up sun. Black people were in the pool having a ball. Getting on great, man, having cookouts and everything, you know. So all of a sudden, Al Qaeda, some member of Al Qaeda moved into the neighborhood. And they say, we want to swim in your pool. Well, the black people, white people, oh, hell no, you ain't swimming in our pool. You're Al Qaeda. We don't want you near us. They said, well, we're going to do it. So they went to the government. The government said, well, they live in the neighborhood. You have to let them in the pool. That white people said, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We have to let them in the pool because y'all built it. But I'll tell you one thing. All of those people, we're going to stay on our side, and all you Al Qaeda people stay on yours. Ha 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 you better laugh. It wasn't that funny. Oh my god, I give up. Can't even tell a joke. How come it's not doing it for me? Because you're retarded. <laughs> now I'm writing the word whole, okay? Whole. Whole. They're the whole, right? Now, can you take, can you take, and four lines cover that hole? No. Yes. No. Hold on. No, God, they made you fucking on my goddamn. You said four lines. I said, and, they, and covered, you didn't cover the hole. I still see I a hole. I do it, do it again. I still, you don't know shit. It still says hold on it. Well, then, so you ain't covered nothing. Then that's impossible. You ain't covered nothing. I'll do it again. I know. I need two. All right, can you cover that hole? Oh, God damn! You dumb as he is! Now watch, you, Bridget. You're dumb as he is! Just pretend it's still there. Look. It's one, two, four. God damn! All right, as long as we do that, wait a minute. No, no, as long as you're doing that, let's do this. <laughs> I mean, that's only got a goddamn thing. I don't know what to do. I won, motherfucker. What are you talking about? What are you then doing? I don't, then I don't understand. All right, I'm going to fucking show you, okay? Cover a hole. I'm going to cover a hole. H O L. E. Oh, okay. it's a trick. Hold on. Get away! I'm tired of this oh, no, shit. No, 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 watch that. What are you laughing about? I'm serious! 
I'm gonna cover this hole right this now. Okay. Stupid. I got it. All right. I'm. No, you ain't got nothing. Just man. let him show us. One. Cole, good job. Two. What the hell's that? Three. A burner. Oh, what? God damn. Coxel. I know what to do. He's trying to write into the another word, basically. No, I know what to do. You need my goddamn shit, little bitch. I'm gonna do it. Just let him show us, Bridget, because he's he's blowing a gasket. Okay. But I think I understand. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just let him show us. I'm gonna cover this with four marks. One, two, three, four. I covered the hole. You covered the hole with Kotex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, ew, you plug a you plug yeah. a hole with Kotex. Wait a minute, no, 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 no. A, a Kotex like a bed for it for it. You don't plug nothing. Are you some of the pads? Yeah, I'm Kotex. Not, Kotex a tampon, isn't it? A woman it's... goes in the restroom. She puts a quarter in the machine. She hey. just a Kotex. I know what it is. A Kotex. It's isn't it like a, a panty liner? Where the fuck do you get her from? Do you not? Do you really know what Kotex is? Or you're gonna look really retarded during this. I really don't. Kotex is a brand of tampon. I don't think it's tampons. It's a goddamn surfboard. Okay, now you're talking about Kotex holes. This is this is getting really like abstract. You don't cover holes. You plug them. Exactly. No, you do not. You have to cover that thing sometimes because you don't need to plug. This ain't 1950. You don't need to plug it all the time. This company is not in business anymore. I think they are in business. But nobody uses them, so they're going to be out of business. They're working. Hey, look. Kotex has tampons. Hey, let me see. See? Right there. Oh, my God. Okay, so that is tampons. So you plug the hole with the tampon and it that soaks up the true. blood. Yes. Yes. Why would a woman want to become plug it for? What are we even talking about anymore? We're talking about plugging them holes for blood and stuff. This is disgusting. You cover it! It's a surfboard that comes in a box like this. You pull it out. You pull the damn... But they, they have tampons too. And they got adhesive on them. And you stick them in your goddamn drawer. Anybody... Dad, that is shit your mom used to use. Nobody uses that anymore. Maxi pads are out. They are way out. And disgusting. They don't stick in there yet. It's like wearing a diaper. It is. It's a blood diaper. It is a diaper. It's a diaper for women. They don't use it anymore. They use tampons. When Aunt Flo comes to visit, they use it. What's going on, guys? It's Pickle Boy, and I'm here with Grandpa, who is back in Charleston. Welcome home. Uh, hey, I'm back. I don't want to be back. Welcome home. I don't want to be back. He's back because he ran out of money. Yeah, I need money, by the way. You got any money, Michael? No. Michael, I, just, I got a goddamn question for you. Go for it. How you move, and you even tell me where you move. You, first of all, how you going to leave Charleston the day, you would know where I moved if you would have been here to help me move my shit. I, I was here. You didn't have your goddamn phone. Here's the question. No, ain't no question. No, you here's didn't the question. Did you leave? I think you perp I don't think you cared anything about the bomb. I think you just didn't want to help me move. That ain't goddamn true. You know I'm paranoid. When Lindsey Graham says something, you better listen. There ain't nothing gonna happen to us. When Lindsey Graham talks. So are you saying that that we're gonna attack ourselves? Because we're gonna get a bomb. It's coming. We gonna get a goddamn bomb, and it's gonna blow us all to hell. Then why don't you go skipping town with your thumb? I ain't got no goddamn what? Your thumb. What they gonna do? You can shove it up your ass, or you can hitchhike with it. Who the hell gonna pick up an old motherfucker like me? That's true. Quit laughing at me! Yeah, I wouldn't pick you up if I was hitchhiking. Come on! Is this kind of face you'd pick up and put in your car with your babies? <laughs> Man, get out of here! That's true. You make it more terrifying. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 yeah no, go for it. Hi. Can I have a ride? I can sit in the back seat with a baby. Hey, baby. Give me that goddamn sucker. What are you doing? Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing? Oh, shit. Are you back in the garden? Come on! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Your door's not shut! I don't give a goddamn! <laughs> I'm scared as fuck, Dad, please! Ah! I'm gonna get a goddamn ticket! Your door isn't shut, dude! It's <laughs> ah, Please! Dad! <laughs> Please! Shut 
that, Michael! Oh god! I'm, I'm seriously so terrified. God damn. <laughs> Dad! Oh my god, he has e motherfucker. Stop the car! <laughs> Shut up, god damn it! Shut up! I'm scared. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Is your door shut? <coughs> Yes, man. Oh, man. I was so scared you're gonna fall out the door. Almost did! You wouldn't have given a goddamn! You let the goddamn ball out and laugh! <laughs> Why'd you have to hitchhike? I was practicing! Well, <coughs> you may be hitchhiking too. Look at the gas gauge. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, I'll be hitchhiking for Bridget. I'll call her. Whatever. Oh, that was terrifying. Yeah, back to the story. Why are you moving up? Tell me where you moved to. And then you want to invite me over to goddamn dinner. I told you you can come over tomorrow. I want you to play Grand Theft Auto. Br Bridget said I can't come over. She didn't say that. You're, you're making things up Bridget now. don't like me. You're making it up. Why don't Bridget like me? You're making things up. I ain't making up a goddamn thing, my uh, You're swerving. Goddamn throat hurting now. <laughs> uh, this video is going to end with us impaling into another car. This, this video just go goddamn in right now. What's up, Pop? Man, I thought I told you not to come back. Yep. Well, You're like a goddamn bad penny. You just keep showing the fuck up. Well, that's what happens when I live so close now. I got work to do, thank you. Like what? Yeah, actually, you can clean the yard, huh? I got to clean my van. Well, your yard. You left that chair. Now you threw a bridge, it's still just sitting over there. And the Diet Coke bottle. Let me bottle. tell you something. Let me tell you something. Diet. I am so goddamn tired of you coming here and starting your motherfucking shit with me. I am goddamn tired of it. Calm down, dude. No, I am not gonna calm down. I have been high since that goddamn mental shit. <laughs> I'm still goddamn breathing that no, motherfucker. you are not. The fuck I'm not. It's still bubbling in my motherfucking nose. I want my PS3 controller back. How about that? I got this. I sold it to the bar shop. Well, that's why you got the Mentos thing. I gotta clean my yard. Is that your stuff in their yard? Oh, shut up. We got people watching this film. What are you slinging a truck at me? What is this? Yeah. <gasps> yeah, hit your van. We gotta break your windshield with the truck. Stop, okay! This is the problem with having me move so close to you. Now you gotta deal with me. What did I just do? What did I set you off with? Get Ow. your fat ass foot off this. I gotta clean my yard, but you get the hell out of here! I'm filming you clean your yard. I got these sorry goddamn landlords, man. They all the time riding around looking. Man, they went off my goddamn rent again. Again? I'm being almost got close, getting close to 900 a month now. Oh, this piece of shit is not worth 900 a month. Hell no. You gotta get the fuck out of this place. What the fuck is them burning in here? Well, that's a good question. Is that what you use to cook with tin cans and... Well, I like to cook outside. You can't afford charcoal? No, you don't give me no... Ah, goddamn! I gotta show that. So you don't use charcoal, you use sticks and shit. You get that wood flavor. That is not the same thing. You get the wood flavor of the goddamn chicken. Well, that didn't take long, did it? Had rain. Oh. Goddamn, mother... Look here, I've asked you to get out my goddamn yard. You're serious about that? Let me rephrase it. Get the fuck out of my goddamn yard! Pop! Oh, goddamn. Man, you come over too goddamn much. I live freaking so close now. 
Ugh. Ooh, what is that smell? Jordan. Oh my god. Hey. I want to throw up looking at this. You. Try it a bit. Try it. No. Try it. I don't, I won't even consider it. Try it. No. What the hell's wrong with a goddamn sardine? They're disgusting. What is that? They're fish. You don't actually like it. He's sitting there snacking on it. You least want to try it. Are you gonna? Oh my gosh, she's considering it. I've never you like, you had like one before. Go like, for it, baby. You like fish? Mm -hmm. Go for it, Bridget. Yeah. You pull it out for you. Yeah. You don't get that one. That's already got the bone out. Bone? Uh. Okay, you go through it by the part, man. Mm. All right, go for it. Oh, God. It ain't oh my God! I told you, you try it. I don't like seafood. I'm ready to leave. They're good. My God, I swear, I hate to try it. I swear to God, I'll slap the can out of your hand. You'll have none. Ain't you got it? It's good, it really. Sardines ain't bad. Oh my God, I want to break now, up. Now, if you like tomato sauce, tomato sauce is even better. Oh my God! It's so good, Michael. <laughs> We will never get sardine pizza. Go give him a kiss. I, I swear to God, I'll break up with you. I will break up with you on camera. Ladies and gentlemen. Try it, Michael. Yeah, I'm not joking, though. <laughs> Try it, Michael. Seriously, leave me alone. Oh, y'all are two peas in a pod. They're good. Jesus, that's like an alley cat who just found it behind a dumpster. Oh my god. Reggie, go get a close up look of what you're eating. I do like eating steak, man. I don't really know what I'm eating, I just know it tastes good. It's fish! It's fish! But put I your, like, I put like your head close to that and say you actually like this. It doesn't look appealing, but it's good. Is that oh, a head? Let her eat the bone. <gasps> oh, I you don't eat the bone, do you? I can't eat the bone. Uh, might as well, it's your snack of choice. Is that a head? No, it ain't no head. Oh. You want to have pizza? No, I think I'm good. I think it was really good. Oh, don't do it. Please don't do it. I think that might be a little uh, too much. I'm sorry. That might be a little too much for me. <laughs> uh -uh, don't film this. <laughs> Michael, they're actually good. <laughs> Kiss me. You all watch Wheel of Fortune. A guy was spinning the wheel for a million dollars. And the phrase was corner curio cabinet. And he said, I want to solve the puzzle. And he said, corner, corner curio cabinet. And they said he didn't say it. And he said it. Anyway, anyway, point is, the man should be given another chance. So, this fellow on Fox News named... Whoa, 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 Fox News? Fox News. Is called this the, where you heard this story? The on? Yeah, the program called The Five at Five. Fox at Five? And it's got this guy named Gutfield. He's okay, a, I'm not believing your story anymore. But no, it did happen. They, they showed, he wrote goddamn Pat Sajak. And Pat Sajak and told him what, what you know, and Pajak wrote him, Pajak? Pajak? Well, Pat Sajak. If you can't talk right, it was wrong. And before you go trashing me on your TV show, you need to remember that I'm a legend. Pat Sajak, you ain't sweat on my motherfucking nuts. I'm the only reason I watch that show see Vanna White. And now she getting old, she getting ugly. Yeah, Vanna's getting white. The Vanna Vanna's getting very white. But anyway, peace out. I can't talk today. He's so unimportant, you don't know his name. I guess so, but I gotta, why are you coming over here again, Bo? Because I live around the corner. But you you live too close now, Mike. We need to talk about this. Why? Because you live too goddamn close now. I mean, you just, you kind of like drop in anytime you want to now. Well, I would call you, but your phone ain't been working. My phone's broke.
I don't think it's broke, but you need to figure out what's wrong with it. I'm calling Verizon very soon here. So I think what Dad's been trying to say here is there was a guy on Wheel of Fortune, and he guessed the, the puzzle correctly. They told him he didn't. It was for a million dollars. He got screwed. Does that about round it up? That's it. And he heard it on Fox News, so take it with a grain of salt. But I didn't care about that. I cared about what Payjack said. Why do you keep calling him Payjack? I don't know. I, I give whatever his name is. I, I, I take offense to what he said, that uh, Greg Gutfield. So what happened is they screwed the guy out of a million dollars when Greg Gutfield writes uh, Wheel of Fortune or Pat Sajak Pat or whatever, Sajak wrote him personally and said that they needed to give him another chance. Pat Sajak responded by, I'm a legend and I can crush you. And so I can do what I want. So Pat Sajak screwed somebody over, he talked shit, and he's an asshole for it. How about that? That's what it is. Fuck you, Pat Sajak. Fuck you, Pat Sajak. AGP here. I just got through smelling some of the worst smelling shit of my motherfucking life. Uh, Michael Gravel from Sweden. You got us. I got that shit all in my face, all in my. I ain't had my guy dip my teeth out, I man. Goddamn motherfucking all in my teeth. Whew. I'm speechless. I have nothing to say. And so, you goddamn son of a bitch, I'm gonna, you goddamn bald headed motherfucker, I'm gonna come to, I'm gonna come to goddamn sweet, I'm gonna break it off in your ass. <sighs> so, we just got done. Pickle boy here and pickle fish there. Pickle fish, I got your goddamn motherfucker. Well, don't please that, did not, not uh, that. I, oh, goddamn it. Please don't send us nothing else. Yeah, nothing edible, because that ain't gonna be happening. That was, that was unexpected, honestly. <laughs> oh my god, that's the worst shit I ever smelled in my motherfucking life. <laughs> so, well, when I was in the fire department, there were burnt bodies didn't smell that goddamn bad. I ain't lying. One time, Michael, one time, one time I went to house fire and I was crawling on my belly. <laughs> and, Michael, look at this motherfucker to me. It's funny, burnt bodies. <laughs> one time when I was in the fire department, Michael, went to house fire, you know. And I'm on my hands and knees and I'm crawling on my belly, you know, because the house burning smoke everywhere. Wait a minute. What's all that? Well, goddamn, man, come on, man. Let me tell my story. Wait a minute. Was, is this like chunks of fish growing on us or something? I'm not even joking. Anyway, I went face first into a dead, burnt body cooked. I had their skin all over my face and shit, right? Yeah. Goddamn, it's got a sweet, sickening smell, man. And, and I had to go to the emergency room. And then I take acetone and literally, literally peel that goddamn shit off me with that acetone. And it ain't smell nothing like that motherfucking shit we just got through. With. I got a bet for you, Dad. What? I'll give you five dollars if you open that trash can and smell aside. Five dollars. Five dollars. Let me see your money. I'll give it to you afterwards. I ain't not. I don't have it in on me. I will go. Oh, no, I gotta have five dollars in my hand. It's in my car. It's in the car. Go do it. We'll get it to you. Five dollars. I Shit, I'll suck your dick five dollars. Oh my god, seriously? Look at all the goddamn flies on it. Come on. That ought to tell you something right there. Look at there. They'll try to get in there, dude. Oh my god! Oh god! Goddamn bleh. I forgot to tell you, I don't have no money. Hey, I got no money. Let's go. You goddamn fat motherfucker. Come on, Bridget. Hey. I might want to go and take a shower. Oh God! Still, still smells in here. Still, it's been a freaking day. It's been almost 24 hours. Uh, well, I'm walking around your house with a candle. So, better be careful that candle out like blue. What do you mean? We that shit stinks. I might have to be gases or something. So, right now, when you walk to describe the smell, think about vinegar. <laughs> Garlic, raw fish. Jennifer and garlic. I didn't say Jennifer and garlic. Oh, I said, it'd be mad. I said vinegar and garlic. Think about a pair of underwear that you took a shit in and you found it two months later, sitting at the bottom of your hamper, and then you wiped your ass with it. it honestly, it was just this sour, pungent odor. I've been smelling it all night. I'm glad I get to go home. Yeah, you get to go home. Oh my God, so what's that dude's name again? Michael what? Michael 
gravel. Gravel, gravel. He got us, dude. So, uh, God, and we were thinking about opening it at our house. We should have. I didn't think it would be that bad. I was close. Well, no. we got to open in mind. Everything bad happens in mine. I noticed when I walked outside, your yard smelled. Yeah, that guy that's in the gar garbage can. And it stung up your whole yard still. I cast and shit on my goddamn garbage can all night. Just think if he would have opened the whole can. <sighs> Give me a headache, man. Dude, you only open it like a, you only pierce like a section of it. What? You only open up a side of it. I know. Just imagine if you went over the whole damn thing. You're gonna give me diarrhea or something. It's got giving you diarrhea? Something that comes. My goddamn stomach's been turning all fucking night. I gotta admit. Whew. That stunk. Your fault. No, it's not my fault. Who the hell brought it to my house? If it's anybody's fault, it's Bridget, because she told me last night she knew. She knew we need to get Why her. do you think she wasn't in the shot? She backed up when you opened it. Then we need to get her fucking ass. Yeah, a prank is coming her way. A prank is coming, Bridget. And I already got something planned. Prank coming. Here I got the damn shit. It's all called a bridge. You know, she's the goddamn most of our problem. She is. She's getting pranked. Halloween month's coming up. It is, too. And she's scared of ghosts. She is? Yep. Let that ghost to fucking talk to her. Yeah, maybe she needs At the battery that night? Hey, maybe she Bridget. needs to have an encounter. Hey, Bridget. Oh. All right, Dad. I got it. What? Come on, sit down. God damn, man, my ass is wrong. What's the pillow for? My ass is goddamn wrong like hamburger meat, boy. Ah. <sighs> got the goddamn squirts. What the fuck is this? This is called Minecraft. My what? I can't pretend to know exactly how it's played because I don't play it myself, but a lot of people have been saying for you to play this, so. Well, I'm not a goddamn game master now or something. Here you go. What the fuck was that? What the fuck? How do I do? What the fuck do you do? You know they run that goddamn hamburger meat through a goddamn grinder and makes them mother all. That's what my ass feels like. Now what do I do here? Need to tell me what I gotta do. I, I don't know, Dad. What buttons do I push? Maybe try try mashing buttons. That's all I can tell you. Well, we know that ain't it. There you go. What the fuck is that? My dick sticking out in the front. So where do I go? Uh, Dad, I don't know what to tell you. This goddamn motherfucker! How you get out of this shit? There ain't no goddamn jump! Hey, sheep, how's the way out? That motherfucker shit. That motherfucker goddamn sheep just shit my goddamn yard. You see that motherfucker shit my yard? That motherfucker shit everywhere. Goddamn bad graphics. Fucking nothing sheep and shitting everywhere. I'm tired of this. Get the fuck off there, you motherfucker. Michael, goddamn, come on, you can make. I can't tell you how to play because I don't know how to play. Hey, I got a stick, right? Yeah. Get off there! Oh, hell, I'm doing something. Well, goddamn, an actual man is. This is a. My, this goddamn motherfucker's boring. Fuck this shit. Goddamn. Dad, sit down. Ah, oh, goddamn! You motherfucker, that's my goddamn ass! I'm sorry. Pizza. Sorry, here. I ain't playing this motherfucker no more. Try another. Just try. People want to see you play Minecraft. How the hell can I play it if I don't know what it is? This is a goddamn piece of shit game, man. Look at the graphics suck. There's, there's no goddamn point to it. Uh, and then I just died! Man, fuck this shit. I'm goddamn. Don't you judge me, motherfucker. I'm goddamn.
I'll go back out there, Ruth. Yeah! Oh shit, I gotta go shit! God damn! So what's the verdict, Dad? Do you like Minecraft? Fuck you! Fuck Minecraft! That motherfucker can't get my goddamn shit! That motherfucker ain't never got no graphics! It's got two little goddamn sheets that are shitting all over the goddamn place. It's got a block goddamn man that you can't make out of. And you don't know who he is or what he is. Fuck that goddamn game! Oh, fuck. I'm going to bed. Get out of here. Get out of my house. You know, I put. I, I, Wait, they're going to wipe the lens. Well, you're going to wipe the lens, bro. I need to wipe the lens. It was a smudge. Okay. Feel like a little smudge me. Look at What am I reporting here? That president of Borelli Noodles. Is it Borella? Well, whatever the fuck. They, it's like him and they're all going no more. Anyway, he now come out and say he, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm a bit too fucking late. You shouldn't have. You know what's wrong with corporate America. They think they can say and do anything. Anything. Against somebody that's not like them, that's not rich like them. I bet your old lady don't even like you. It's sort of like Chick Fil A. They said their shit about and yeah, you're the same boat as Chick Fil A. I don't eat Chick Fil A either, but you know something? You'll come think of it. What are you doing? I make sure I ain't got no more Morelli shit in here. I done thrown it all out of thing. Ow! That ain't me, Barbarelli, is it? No! I don't want no more Barelli shit in my motherfucking house! I think it's Barilla. Barilli! Barilla! What the fuck ever! You're done! You're toast! You're history! And all these people that are writing me saying, Grandpa, you are not talking about Barilla like that! Barilla! has the right to have family values, but they don't have right to take the, to take people and ruin their values. If these people want to kiss other guys and other gals, that's their business, it ain't yours. So no, I will not eat your damn noodles. Your noodles are shit. The motherfuckers take too long to cook them anyway. They're garbage. You must use the old yeast to flour or something, cause them motherfuckers are hard when you cook them. Okay, we got your point. You hate Barilla. I hate Barilla, along with a bunch of other youngins that hate Barilla too. If you're wrong, you're wrong, and you owe them more than an apology. You owe all the gay people a lot more than an apology. Let's see you put some money in the AIDS Foundation. People that have got AIDS, that, that let's see you. Put a bunch of money in that fund to help out their families. Now, you want to do something and you want to be sorry? Put your money where your mouth is, Mr. Barella! If he wants to prove it, then put a gay person in one of your ads now. Put a gay person on your staff! Oh, they wouldn't want to work for your dumb ass anyway. Get out of here with that shit. I'm Drop me some goddamn bag and pick this shit up. See if the only noodles I want. <laughs> we will never get sardine pizza. Go give a kiss. Hey, you got it. It's good, it really. Sardines ain't bad. Oh my god, I want to break up. Now, if you like tomato now. sauce, tomato sauce is even better. Oh my god. Reggie, go get a close up look of what you're eating. I do like the steak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm eating, I just know it tastes good. It's fish! It's fish. Uh, 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 about, about, about three months ago, I got one of S3 phones, okay? Oh my god, yeah, Galaxy! You know, I, I can't, look at me, you, can you try to speak better American? You're a goddamn liar, you ain't no American! 
Ohio, yeah, Ohio Baruch. Anyway, let's get on my business, okay? I don't care where you're from. I, I, I bought this, I got this F3 phone contract, right? And I'm going to talk to people and they can't hear me! Because I'm not on that goddamn phone! I'm on another phone! Because you couldn't hear me if I called on the other phone! And I damn sure know you can't spell English, huh? Do I have what? Do I have the phone? What? I, the, the speaker don't work either. Nobody can hear a fucking word I say. And I get static when I call somebody. I know my, 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 my microphone and my guy on this phone turned out all the way. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I took it to Verizon, they checked my settings, same, same settings, they said it, they don't work. I cannot hear you! You need to tell you what you, first thing you need to do is speak up. Did I clean up what? Now, I ain't got nothing sticking that hole. That hole's so small, hell, my dick might fit. Please talk louder. Please talk louder. Would you please talk louder? Do I have a toothpick? I ain't got no teeth. What do I need toothpicks for? A pen? I ain't want to write nothing. Let me tell you what goddamn thing right now. I want my goddamn phone fix. I want my motherfucking phone fix. You know I'm not taking my goddamn money every month, but you won't come fix my goddamn phone. I want my motherfucking phone fix. What do you mean you don't know you might fix my goddamn phone? Yeah, I wish you suck my dick, you goddamn Indian motherfucker! Hung up on me, goddamn, kiss my motherfucking ass. Turn that goddamn thing off! So, Dad has never seen FaceTime before, so I'm gonna do it with him. Hey! Why is it so dark? What do you mean? I'm like, I guess, I guess it's goddamn nighttime. Wait a minute! No, it's all dark. Uh, so what about it? Wait a minute! Are you? Do you got the phone to your ear? I'm talking to you, ain't I? Point the f camera to your face. Like that? Look at look. Look at the front of the phone. Look at you! Hey! What the fuck are you doing to my phone? It's FaceTime. What the FaceTime? I see enough of your face as it is. Well, here's another shot of me. Oh my god. Boy, you, you, I knew you were ugly, but goddamn, you were ugly on a goddamn phone. Yeah, this is FaceTime. This is the future. What do you want? Are you not amazed? I don't give a fuck one way or the other. We are talking to each other on the phone, seeing your faces. Are you naked right now? Are you dressed? Oh, yeah, God. This is not a sexting call. So what are you doing? I'm watching news. Yeah, what, Fox News? So you're watching Fabrication. No, I'm watching the goddamn news! Unlike you, I'm educated! No, none of his Fox. You don't know what you talk about. I know everything. How about your boy Harry Reid? He wanna kill him kids with cancer! Who the fuck is Harry Reid? He, he's 
Jesus, be glad to see that. He said, be happy about, about, about not giving a little young child life. And he said, who cares? He's a Democrat. So. You know what they remind me of, Michael? What? They remind me, the Republicans and the Democrats in Washington remind me of, of little kids in the playground. I'm going to beat your ass. Cross this line. Not just, not just chip off my shoulder. They're babies. Oh, yeah. We haven't gotten your opinion on the uh, White House or the Washington being shut down yet. The government. Who gives a fuck? It seems to be running pretty good without it, ain't it? Is, uh, do we have a uh, wick right now? Do people have wick? Yeah, they get their wick, I guess. I don't know. I don't get wick. I ain't pregnant. I'm hearing people don't get it. They ain't get it. Ain't got goddamn. Aw, oh, man, you and them goddamn Democrat motherfucking. Listen to you. Girl. You listen to Fox News, who's nothing but liar. And you're a bleeding heart fucking liberal. Yeah. You'd suck no bubble stick if you got a chance. I, yeah, probably. Yeah, you know probably about it. You wouldn't? Fuck no. Yeah, you would. You would suck it just for the taste. You know, I'm getting a little goddamn tired of this phone call now. I'm really getting tired of you. I got better things to do than to sit here and look at your goddamn mug on a telephone. No, you don't. You understand what I'm telling you? You don't got nothing better to do. If, I don't want to talk to you. If you want to send Grandpa a birthday, if you want to send Grandpa a birthday present, send it to the PO box below. Yep, there you go. And subscribe, like, kiss my ass, get on this goddamn phone. No, I'm gonna keep talking to you. Important people may be trying to call me. You want to see Bella? No. What have you been doing today? I'll tell you what, Michael. I've had enough of this conversation. What have you been doing today? I've had enough of you. What have you been doing today? Uh, Talk to me. Bye, motherfucker. How you hanging on the truck? I'm not telling you. I hung up. I guess he did hang up. What are you still doing there? You only paused it. Unpause it so we can talk more. I don't know how. I, I don't know how. Well, <laughs> if you actually want to hang up, there should be a button that says end. I am only to do that. I am. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, what am I talking about? The Carolina Kentucky game's on. And here I got you. Give me the remote. What channel? It's supposed to be EFPN3. Can't get the EFPN3. You gotta just chill out for a minute. I was in a fucking game! Can't about no goddamn tune shit. Alright. Okay. Will you hurry up? I'm trying to find you. Hold on. Now do a search. We'll see if you leave have it. I wanna watch the game, Michael! I realize that. What the hell are you doing? I'm searching. We ain't got time for games! Turn that Xbox off! Enough, Dad. I don't feel good, I'm trying to help you. ESPN 3? Yeah. Would you hurry up? Man! Fuck this shit, man. God damn. Hold on, I'm looking. Well, hurry up. I want to see the game. You just chill out for this. Man, fuck minutes. Time Warner. My ass hurts. Damn, how many on-demands are there? What the hell are you doing? I'm looking for ESPN channels. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. What the hell is up with this? That ain't a game! 
That's a fucking movie! Ow! Ow! Would you mind? I'm uh, Okay, chill out over here! I swear to God, I'm looking. What'd you throw at me? I want my game out, motherfucker! Ugh. I'm looking! You broke my goddamn thing! No, it's not even broken! You broke it! You threw it! You broke my goddamn! Oh, come on, dude. I'm, I swear I'm looking. You ain't doing it! You ain't doing it! No! Okay. Cal and WSU? What is this it? Ah no! Well, what the fuck? Yeah! I did it! No, 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 no! What? Put it back! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! No! You said it wasn't it. Put it back! On what? Oh God, Almighty, damn! Right here! That was Steve Darian. Yeah, has it? Fuck you, go. What? Go home. Go home. Are you not even gonna sit in your chair? You're just gonna sit like that? My ass hurt. Why you were so afraid? When I was a little feller, I was eight years old. And we lived in a house in Seward Forest called Locksley Drive. We had a prowler that was hanging around the neighborhood, peeking in windows. And one night I got one night I got up to take, go to the bathroom. Is he watching the night? And it was about two o'clock in the morning. And I went to the bathroom bowl and I pulled my little thing out. And I'm whizzing, I looked at the blind and looked outside and there was a motherfucker on my dad's car smiling at me. Good God almighty! I freaked the fuck out, man. I slammed those blinds down. I went running down the hallway. Daddy, 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 daddy! There's a man looking at me in the window. Daddy jumped up and ran outside and I'm hiding in the bed with my mama. He come back in laughing, said it wasn't nothing but a cat or a hood. You lying motherfucker! I know a face looking at me when I see it! You call your dad a lying motherfucker? He's dead, <laughs> dude. Well, I, I'm Are my, you aware your back door's still open? Oh my god. Dad, look at the car! You motherfucker! Chill out! Dad, oh my god! There might be another one out there. Ah! 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 <laughs> ah! ah! Chill! Are you that afraid? Yes! 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 Oh, you're a Daniel Bryan fan. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done! You done? Well, say goodbye to your obsessed fan, Dad. Get the fuck out of my house! Well... Don't yeah. touch me! Don't touch me! <laughs> Don't you ever touch me! Oh, God, relax. Don't touch me! Oh, you getting things getting serious, are they? I was far from kidding, you know. I'm just joking, Dad. What is wrong with you? Don't touch me ever. All right, tell the story that you used to tell me about the old man and the hat and stuff. You still remember that story? Yeah, and I want I want to record that. And that, that story affected me, so I, I got to record it. Many years ago, my grand, great-grandfather died. 
and we went to the we went to the house. This little small town in another part of South Carolina. And back then, when somebody died, they didn't lay them in a funeral home for people to visit. You know, for visitation, they they would take them home, and they would take the coffin into the living room, and they would set the coffin in front of the couch, so people would come in. You know, and they would, you know, show sure going missing. You know, well, it was it was it, it done. Got, it was just about dark, and people were coming in. You know. I was a little fella, so I was sitting there playing, and this, there was this man came up, and he said, uh, young man, I said, yes sir, and I looked at him, you know, he's about 6'1", six, 6'2", six, you know, real thin, long face, uh, beautiful suit, tie, had, had a gold, like a blue tie with gold stripes, so anyway, to make a story short, I said, yes sir, he said, young man, my hat blew under the house, would you mind getting it for me? And I was clean, you know, but I felt kind of bad for him losing his hat, you know, an old man like that. He, was, he must have been about 70, somewhere along in there. So I said, yes, sir, I'll get it for you. So I climbed my little butt down the stairs, you know, scoot up under the house, and come back out, and there he is. I hand him his hat. He said, thank you, young man. And he hung his hand out, and when he did, he dropped a silver dollar in my hand. And I said, wow, a dollar. So I go in the house, you know, and I'm flipping that silver dollar, you know, and I'm, have, you know, just, my dad says, where'd you get that money? I said, a man lost his hat under the house and asked me if I'd get it for him, so he gave me a dollar. My dad said, no, no, you're not taking nobody's money. Let's go find him. So we went outside, you know, we're looking, and he ain't around. We look in the house, and he ain't around. And, Grandma would ask me, she said, well, who, what did it look like? Because I know, you know, she knew everybody in town. And I told her, I said, he was about 6'1", 6'2", uh, real thin, had a long face, you know, and beautiful blue suit. And my grandma just grabbed her mouth and went, Cause, and didn't say a word. And my mom said, Grandma, what's wrong? She said, I, 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 and she went on about her business. About 15 minutes later, she come back and she said, with a book, it was a photo book. And she's showing us the photo, you know, the book, and I open up, she said, Charlie, can I ask you a question? I said, yes, ma'am, Grandma. She says, can you, do you see that man in this picture? And I'm looking at him, you know, and I flip the page, and there he was. I, there he is, Grandma. That's the man that gave me the dollar. God, boom. Grandma hugged me, she said, Charlie, that's old Mr. Jones. He's been dead for 10 years. And he was buried in that blue suit and that tie. She said, save that dollar. He came, he said goodbye to my grandfather and his spirit disappeared. And I never saw the old man again. So dad locked the door, I'm trying to get him He's supposed to be telling me the story of the Somerville light tonight, and he's not here. And it's actually pretty fucking creepy outside right now. Come on, I'm getting scared out here. Get out here. You, you promised to tell me that story. Oh, man, you come back tonight just for that. Yes, you promised. Life is dark. Yeah, no shit is dark. All right. You promised to tell me the story of the Somerville light. Oh, the Somerville light. One night, we were sitting around the house. And we were talking about things to do, something to do that night. And there was about four of us, and we had a pickup truck. So old Mac, he said, let's go out to Somerville Light. I've heard about it, but I've never seen it before. So I took off, we took off and jumped in his truck and had his dog with us, man. Now, now this is the part that's going to get to the dog. So we go to Somerville Light, and we're sitting there about an hour, nothing happens. And I'm like, man, fuck, let's go home. For the people who don't know, what is the Somerville Light? The Somerville Light is a legend here in Somerville. There, there was a trail railroad track. And every night this conductor would get off, go to this one part of the track, and the train would slow down, he would jump off, and his wife would come to meet him and with a lantern every night. I'm getting wet, Michael. With a lantern every night, and they're walking back home around midnight. So, she went to get him one night, and he fell off the train. 
and when he fell off the train, his head went under the track, onto the track, and the wheel cut his head off, his body. Well, when the old lady got there, she found his body, but she didn't find his head. So every night, she goes, they see that light coming to the railroad track, and there's no railroad track there anymore, it's been gone. But her, and she would go there, you see that light every night, it's come way down there in the road, you see a little flicker of a light. And then all of a sudden, the light, right up on you. And it's her looking for his head. So anyway, we're out there, you know, and my, now this is a true story. It's a Somerville true legend. Were you drinking this night? No, sir, I wasn't drinking, and I wasn't smoking no dope. So we're out there in the pickup truck, and I'm in the back with the dog. And all of a sudden, we sit there about an hour, goes by, an hour and a half, two hours go by, and nothing happens. And I'm like, Matt, let's just go home, man. I'm cold. There ain't no such thing as some of the light. And all of a sudden, Matt said, oh, shit. Now, now the, it's cool, so they got the truck running to keep the heat on inside the cab. And Matt said, look, look, look. Boy, and I looked down there, and it was a little, looked like a little light. You know how a candle <laughs> Motherfucker. I had to do it. <laughs> Mike, you ate right, motherfucker. Uh, finish your story, dog. Uh, you mind if I put my heart back in my chest? Yeah. Good. Well, I don't know where I was. <laughs> anyway, Max said, look, look. And I looked. You know how candlelight flickers, Michael? Yeah. It was like a little flickering light. And I said, damn, just a little light. By the time I got it out of my mouth, that light was over our fucking truck. It was it was like vibrating real blue, you know, boom, boom, boom. It got over the truck and the and the truck just cut off. There was no power to the truck. All the power was gone. And that dog oh, and every hair on that dog's back was standing straight up and he was looking at that light, Michael. He was looking at that light like, oh my God, oh my God. And that light stood there for like five minutes and I'm going, oh my God, I couldn't move. I couldn't jump out the truck. I couldn't do a damn thing. Nobody could. And that dog, man, was like moaning like, like it was hurt or something. And all of a sudden the light went, poof, gone. And then the truck just cranked. And from this day on, I can honestly truly say, I saw the Somerville light. I saw the old lady hunting for her husband's head. That dog really saw her because that dog was scared to death. That's the story Have of- Have you seen my husband's head? Fuck you, Michael, go home. <laughs> Wait. Go home, no, I'm through. I'm gonna come I'm in. Through. You know how candle- <laughs> I had to do it. Oh. You know, this this kind of a night reminds see how the trees are just like it's cool. Yeah, the wind's been blowing a little bit, a little bit of rain drizzle. Reminds me back when I was about 18 years old. Me and some buddies, boy, we wanted to go into a graveyard one Halloween night. So we found one man, it's the old, old Jewish cemetery down there on Ma off Magnolia Road. So we go in there, you know, and we all sitting around, we had a little fire going around the coffin, you know, around the, around the grave site and everything, you know. We're talking about graves that, that were 150, 200 year old. And we decided, well, let's smoke a joint. So we smoked the joint and got a little buzz on, you know. Decided then to drop a little mescaline, you know. Took a little mescaline. So here we are in the graveyard. There's four or five of us. And all of a sudden, man, I ain't lying. Out of nowhere, bodies were coming out of the grave. The bodies were like, ah, you seen these zombies? Ain't nothing like these creatures, man. They come out of the grave, and you can see the bones, and, and, and their veins were just dangling all in their bones. And, Oh my God, but I'm, I swear to God, I'm not lying, people. I sat there and this one woman come out, she had on a wedding dress. And I'm looking at her, I'm going, oh God, oh God. And she says, where is he? I said, where is who? <laughs> I am serious, people. 
she scared me. She she said she she, she I, we talked, you know, and she was telling me how how he left he 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 jilted her at the altar, and and she he had all the people there for the wedding, and 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 he never showed up. The family was there. This was back in the 1800s, and and she was so ashamed, and and and, and so afraid of what. She, embarrassed at all that that she went behind the church and she took a knife and she cut her wrist and she bled to death and they buried her in the same wedding dress that she was supposed to get married in and here she is all of a sudden a hundred years later and she's in front of me at this grave and i'm like oh my god what am i gonna do and and all of a sudden, other graves were opening up, and people were coming out of the graves, and they were like, "Oh my God!" You know, I wanted to run. I ran. I ran. I ran into. I ran into tombstones. I. I. I fell in a hole. I landed in there with one. Of, oh my God! I landed in there with one of the bodies, man. And the guy reached up and he grabbed me by the head, and he was pulling me down, 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 down. Oh God! It scared me to death. I jumped up out of the grave and I ran. I ran to the mausoleum, and 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 there were like four dead people standing in front of it, and they were ready to, they they were like, come here, come here, and I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? <laughs> but I learned a valuable lesson that night. I never smoked no more of that goddamn weed. That shit fucked me up. God damn. <laughs> so did you make all that up? Hell yeah. Oh God! That's some bad weed, man. Weed? Are you sure it wasn't the mescaline? Might have been the mescaline. No, that was a true story. I was so fucked up that drinking that. I mix, I mix weed, uh, mescaline, and I'll drink a rip of wine. Them bodies were coming out the goddamn graveyard. They get in my ass. So I just wanted to say right here on Grandpa's channel, congratulations, and he's got something to store over here. Congratulations to Boogie2988 for getting married. Is there a wedding song I can sing? Whose channel is this? Yours. Then shut up! I hey. want to get my congratulations in. Hey Boogie! I want you to feel at home! So I, I put my control around my neck for you, brother. I don't think he has any controls with wires, so. Well, I ain't goddamn him. Anyway, Boogie. I heard, I saw a picture of you and your lovely bride. I wanted to say congrats. I'm proud of you. I got divorced and you got married. Ha 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 Fool. Ha <laughs> ha. Boogie. Not everybody is unhappy in marriage. He might love it. Well, my, hey, Boogie, if you love it, you stick with it, bro. Because how the fuck you played the man, God. You're going to end up hanging yourself yeah, here. Must have anyway, put it here. Put it here. Boogie, take it from an old man. You're married, and you're, you're on YouTube, and you got your Facebook. If you're a smart man, and you want to keep your, your, your love life going and all, then, then, then kind of keep your wife off your Facebook and off your YouTube if you can, because there's so many hate haters out there, man, you never know. And I want to see y'all make it. But anyway, Buggy. I'm your, I'm your friend. I, I want to congratulate you. I hope you have a long and prosperous marriage. And if you have any kids, name it after your grandpa. Ha 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 Name it after me. Bye, Boogie. <laughs> Turn that thing off now, Michael. No. I'm, gonna I'm done. Nah, I'm gonna keep congratulating him. Can I have this dance for the rest of my life? You married me, fat boy. I'll be your wife. Are you, calling, you like that? are you calling him fat? I ain't calling you fat, boy. I call Michael fat. No, he was calling you fat, so that's insulting. So I ain't calling him fat. He's married now. She gonna feed him good. He said now that he's married, he can get fat. Yeah. There's, no, there's no more pursuit. No, I'm saying it's what Boogie said. Oh. But anyway. Bye, Boogie. Wait, wait, here's a question. How come you weren't invited to the wedding? Yeah! Why wouldn't I invite you to the wedding? You don't want me to go goddamn wedding, Boogie! So what'd you get Boogie for a, for a wedding present? Say that he gave me for my birthday! Nothing! And by the way, Boogie, it's Wednesday! Your birthday's Wednesday? Wednesday, 16th. Oh, well, oh, that's right. So if anybody wants to send Grandpa a present below... You have been getting a couple things, actually. Yeah, I have. 
And he's been desperately trying to open them. I'm going to. No, you're going to open them Wednesday. Get a, get a, quite a, send me something! I do, I want a new cigarette roller. You ain't getting none of this I want stuff. an electronic cigarette roller. I want an electronic cigarette stopper. Looks like quit smoking. You want a sack of money? Yeah, a sack of money. I got a PayPal. I'm sure somebody will give you a sack of something. I got a PayPal. Who cares? Oh, well. What you giving me? Uh, my undying love and devotion. Oh, my God. I can get that. I can tell this is a cup of coffee. I can get that. So how's that prank for Bridget looking? I think it's going to look good. So you got you get it all set up? I about, I about got it all set up. And it's going to be funny. Don't say anything. We can't say what it is. No, nobody's going to know what this bridge prank is, Bridget, but I guarantee you, y'all are going to love it. Bridget told me she's ungettable. Oh, you can't prank me. Well, we're going to find out. I'm in the... Show me that lighter. A fan set that to you, didn't they? A fan set me that. Show the front of it. She painted it and everything. You on the back. What does the back say? Fuck, I don't AGP. Nice. So anyway... I, I can use a Zippo! Quit asking for things. They send you what they want. They have Miami. What do you want, Grandpa? I, I, I want to see. I want... Send a Walmart gift card so you can't use Fuck it. Fuck no, I can't use it! Don't send me no Walmart gift card at all! <laughs> I'll use it. No, you won't. If it's not me, it's, you ain't getting it. You can always use it on Walmart.com. What's Walmart.com? You know, Mike, when I was a little boy, we, we used to play tricks. And we had these cars on Halloween night. We had this tree that used to open the graveyard that hung over the graveyard into the road, you know? Oh, I've heard this story. And me and my buddy, Lamont, it was like about 8 o'clock, dark as hell. And we made this dummy and put a rope on it. And cars would come by, and we'd drop the goddamn mat, the dummy, you know, people hit the And we'd run like hell, laughing our ass off. Well, about an hour later, man, we'd go back up there, we'd run up in the tree, and this car come by, and we dropped the damn mannequin, and boom! The car not only hit the mannequin, the car went and hit the wall. And the man was in the car, he was going, Ah, ah, ah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did he die? With no, that? he didn't die, but he got out of that car, man, and he chased us down, boy. And he took me to my daddy. And my daddy cut my ass. I said, Daddy, I didn't do nothing. Daddy said, because of you, I got to pay for this man's car. I said, you ain't got to pay shit. Prove it with me. Daddy didn't like that either. Daddy cut my ass again. Did he pay for it? Hell no, man. His insurance paid for it. Man, what are you talking about? My daddy was cheap. He wouldn't pay for shit. But, <laughs> but it was scary because of that, you know? But did we learn a lesson? Nah. Snuck out the window, went back to the graveyard, and got another car. God, dude. We did four cars that night. All four of them both wrecked. Damn, next day the police come into my house asking me questions. Threaten to take me to to, 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 juvie, not to juvie hall. Back then they called that reform school. And I, I, was, I didn't care. It was better getting beat by my old man. My old man used to beat me bad. I ain't lying. One time my old man, my, my sister pissed me off. See, I was, I was what? Nine? Ten? Something like that. And my sister pissed me off. And she, we had a little laundry room on the outside of the house on a carport, you know. So she go out there to wash clothes. So when she was in there, I had one of them locks, man. If you slip the lock on you, hit. Oh, God damn. You all right? Damn. Anyway. People who uh, aren't, who are watching this, you don't know what that's about. Watch the video tomorrow. It's going on the main channel where Angry Grandpa carves another pumpkin. That's tomorrow night. Anyway. And when it locks, you know, you hit it, you know, it locks, you close the door and slide. Well, she was in there doing something, she pissed me off, because I, I wanted, my daddy kept drinks in there. And I wanted a drink, and she told me, no, I couldn't have one. So when she went out, boom, locked it. Well, that wasn't so good enough for me. I went and got some gasoline and poured it on the door and lit the motherfucker. What was wrong with you? And, 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 and the thing was burning, and all of a sudden, here comes the damn fire department. I run like a motherfucker. But if you, man, my ass is just, but a few minutes later, a few minutes later, my daddy rolled up with the fire department. 
and they put the fire out and they got they got the door and got my sister out and my daddy he said a damn word my daddy went on back to work about two and a half hour later my daddy come home from work and I was watching cartoons my daddy stripped my ass down naked no clothes on threw me in the damn uh, shower turned the water on and beat me with a clothes hanger and he beat me I guarantee you boy there was whelps on top of whelps oh my god he 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 he, he fucked me up boy my mama come home and she seen all them whelps on me and she started breaking ass trees across my daddy head holy shit really she told me, yeah she told you she told you my, told me this other part but you never told me this part she of told it. my daddy you ever you ever you ever touch him again I guarantee you'd be the last person you ever touch in your life. Was that the last time? Hell no, that motherfucker beat me regularly. We talked about last time, shit. I remember one Halloween, Michael, when y'all were little. We lived in uh, Goose Creek and had, a, had the, the neighbor Larry and a guy named Bob living next door to him. Oh, uh, you're talking about the guy that looked like Freddy. This guy looked like Freddy Krueger for the world. This guy looked just like Robert Englund without Who's his makeup. Who's telling the story? I just wanted to elaborate on how much he looked like Robert England. He looked just like him. It was actually pretty crazy when I think about it today. Anyway, he was in the Navy and he went and he, got, he ordered the Freddy Krueger fingers, you know, and the hat, the shirt, looked just like him. Put the makeup on. He had real damn knives on those fingers, didn't he? Yes, he did. He ordered it. Wow. Anyway, and then Larry had, had the suit and everything and the, and the mask, so he looked like Michael Meyer. And I had that Texas chainsaw. I had I had, a, I had an apron, you know, the mask I had an apron covered in blood, and I had I had a chainsaw without a blade that I could crank up. I know what you're gonna say. Well, we took we took all the kids. They had a bunch of friends spend the night over that because trick or treat was on a Saturday night that night that year. So they invited all their friends to spend the night and go trick or treating, and then and then have a little party afterwards. Well, I was about drunk anyway, so I said, yeah, go ahead, we'll do it. So we took them all out trick or treating. We all went to Pizza Hut. Remember when Pizza Hut had that pizza? Is that when we first started that routine? Yeah, that's when we first started. Anyway, we, we had the pizza, you know. So we come back to the house, you know, and it was getting kind of late. About 11 o'clock, we done been to the houses two or three times a piece. <laughs> done going through all the rich neighborhoods. So we back at the house, you know, and they got on a, a, a scary movie. And all them little kids are sitting around, man. They're eating their candy, you know. And, ooh, and they're... You know, and, they're, and they're, they're, they're watching Friday the 13th or whatever it is. And they all started passing out on me. All of them were getting sleepy, you know, they're dozing, you know. So I went over and got Bob and Larry, and they done put on their uni their, their costumes. <clears throat> and so one of them knocked at the back door. Well, one of the kids went to open the door. What he did, there was Freddy Krueger. Hey, hey, kitty. Well, all of them started screaming. They started running. Fucking Michael shit his goddamn pants. <laughs> yeah, this is a real funny story. Michael shit his goddamn pants. One of the girl pissed her pants. You're leaving out the fact that Dad comes screeching into the living room. <laughs> but wait a minute now. Wait a minute. I ain't got that part of the story. God. Anyway, they screaming, hollering, boy, and they're, they're all upset. And they started they started running down the hallway, coming to my bedroom. Well, when they got in my bedroom, I threw the door open. There I was taking the chains off. They, one little girl fainted. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, that one little merry girl fainted me right there in the middle of the goddamn hallway. The one that uh, the she one had like a brother over. and a sister. Yeah, the one everybody was tripping over. <laughs> oh my god, she passed out. She passed out, and y'all y'all didn't give a fuck. Y'all were stepping on her, tripping on her, and every goddamn thing else. Dude, you were so horrible. Y'all went to the front door when you did. There was <laughs> there was Michael Myers. <laughs> and Mike, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you kids didn't know whether to You're shit. having a great time telling this. Oh my God, y'all didn't know whether to shit or go blind, man. And you guys are wondering why I prank him and what <laughs> what kind of relationship we have pranking each other. This is why. But there y'all were. Y'all were looking at y'all were looking at Michael Myers. Here comes Freddie in the back door, and here I come down the hallway, and. <laughs> It was like a fucking triangle. We were just like trapped. And all of a sudden, next thing I know, the little kids are calling their mamas to come get them. They all went home. <laughs> oh my god. I tell you, I'm all fuckers. I told you to shut the hell up over here, didn't I? What up? How's it going? What happened to your hand? 
beating off too hard? Boy, you just know how to do things, don't you? You'd fuck up a wet dream. <laughs> All right, Dad, here you go. Ah! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday oh, to you. We already you. sang it to him. Give I it a break. Give it a Happy break. Happy birthday. Give it a break. Grandpa. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to, to, you. to you. I can't even see you. <laughs> here we go. All right. Damn. Okay, so you already opened the cigarette roller. Yeah, I got a cigarette roller, man. I can, I can roll cigarettes now. Only thing is, you, you, keep, you have to keep lighting because it keeps dropping the fire. Is that with that cigarette burning your shirt? Yeah, like that? motherfucker. What about, the ones, what about the ones on your mattress? That was done, I guess, other reasons. <laughs> and then Eddie sent me a new, new camera. That's really like the one I got. That's Space Age, man. Space Age. I can't figure that one out. Got a new camera, man. He sent me a new camera. Preach, I need a camera. Bad. Let me see. Wow, I'm still gonna come over every day. And then I got those clothes. You got all you got a whole for, bunch of yeah, clothes. Yeah, for Rebecca. Well, this one. What the, what the fuck? It's not even wrapped, I forgot. I want to give you something really personal for your birthday. <laughs> Motherfucker farts! So I farted! In this card. Happy birthday. Hee hee. Hope you enjoy this card. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, here we go. What the fuck? What the hell is that? Oh shit. It's like a Hulk Hogan top. Oh my god. Oh, put, put it on, on, brother. What you gonna do, brother? Take your vitamins! Beat your mama's asses! You know what he says? <laughs> Play with your daughter's legs! Jesus, man, you look like a homeless person living under a bridge. <laughs> Be careful with this knife. No shit, but I, damn. I don't like you playing with knives. Candy! Candy! Where's that what from? What kind of candy? Where's, what country is that from? Because I never heard of none of this candy. It's from England, the UK. To Angry Grandpa. Cadbury Flake. I guess I'll be eating me some- Get your mother! Give me that yellow thing you're holding. You, I'll give you- Rainbow! Oh, I'm eating that. Rainbow that. Belt! God damn it. Is there any Wonka? There's a crunchy! What about a crumb diddly umptious? Okay, let's just move on. Kimberly Varnes. Another shirt! What's it say? So many beers, so little time. Ah, damn! Ah, they know me! Ah, <laughs> this goddamn wig is hot. <laughs> Man, I hope ain't nothing important in there. Another shirt! What's this say? Holy shit! <laughs> hey, Charlie Chan! <laughs> I gotta wear that. One. I gotta wear that one. Someone's gonna send you a shirt that says Charlie Chan. That'd be funny. Yeah. Somebody send a Charlie Chan shirt. Somebody want me fuck this shit? God damn! Put it on, Michael. <laughs> what? You look so bad. Oh my gosh. Oh man, thank God I'm not wearing my glasses. I would look like Ben Franklin. <laughs> I look good, baby. <laughs> oh my God, you look like your mama. What the fuck? A book. Curiosity killed the meerkat. So it's, uh, I guess, a. Uh, <laughs> Meerkat sitting on a chainsaw. Oh God! Please let me start unwrapping some of these for you. No! What the hell is that? Are those wrestling DVDs? Are those for me? Fuck you! Evolution of the game. 
Armageddon. Obviously, these are meant for me. Uh, my birthday, bitch. Oh, shit. SummerSlam. Wow, who sent me these? Now, who sent you shit? King Kong. WrestleMania, 25th anniversary. Oh, wait a minute. That hat's nice. Where's the wig? Oh, shit. Let's see it together. Meanwhile, people ain't seen me in a hat in a while. What's going on, you guys? Keep me in the camera here. Get Throwback. Awesome. <laughs> I gotta get a new hat. <laughs> yeah, look at yourself. Oh, my God. Hey, God, I like that look. <laughs> I like that goddamn look. Is this, this is exactly oh, what you looked like at 21. Yeah, probably so. <laughs> oh, my God. That's from... Yeah, dude, you look like your neighbor, Tina. <laughs> That's a, that really is a nice hat, Pop. It is a nice hat. I like hats, you know. I asked for hats. Well, there you go. You got one. And I got one. What is this? Leon Beach or something like that. Oh! Oh, no! What is it? Oh, no! Candy! Get Hell fucking no! Get your goddamn... Ah! Oh my god, he's not joking! I ain't joking, you fucking my candy bar. There's a hundred grand in there, I see it. Give me a hundred grand cash, you can have it. Return to Cinder! California! Y'all ain't getting no food stamps next month. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> Kit Kat! Twinkie! Got me some goddamn Twinkie! <laughs> Oh, this guy knows me too well. He don't even just get a fuck away from this shit. Dude, you're going to a diabetic coma. This is Unless it. Unless you share. This is Dad's last week of life. He's I am up. not. Oh, my God. Payday. Payday. Is that bag open? <laughs> that motherfucker. You didn't give me a whole goddamn bag. You open it. What? A box in the box. Coffee mugs. <coughs> oh, one broke. And creamer. The creamer's all busted in there. Yeah, the creamer busted. One of them broke? Yeah, one of them broke. Grandpa said. Oh, nice. That was nice. Do you even have a coffee pot anymore? Yeah, you do. You destroyed every damn one you have. How you get them out? Oh, God. Grandpa! Poppy! Granddaddy! You look like Bruce Valanche. Okay. <laughs> God damn, this is a hot motherfucker. What the fuck? Oh, it looks like an apron. An apron! Cookie with Grandpa! What's it say on it? Stated. You don't want to read it. Hey, what is that? What does it say? You can barely read it. It says South Carolina Border Patrol, but it's like barely legible. It must have been a reject and they give it to me anyway. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What is that? Okay, your coma is imminent. It's all candy. Smile, it's your birthday! Oh, man. Holy motherfucking shit. Look oh, that. come on, what? You're staring. I ain't scared a motherfucking thing. Snick, get your motherfucking hands off. I'm just helping you unwrap that. I'm not grabbing any. Oh, my God. Holy motherfucking shit. A letter? Cards? What is that? Oh, God! Jesus Christ! This is a care package. Is that a Happy Meal? It says Bridget. I got something? Holy shit, Michael! What the hell's that? Fishing pole? Wait, somebody, let's see what they sent Bridget. You got one too! What? Man, what should this be like? Somebody took a shit inside. I'm scared to open it. Hold this. It's rubbery, it feels like. Here, yeah, I'll let you see it! Please don't be like something dead. Oh, it was a Twinkie. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's so cool. 
Michael. Dude, that is awesome. That was in my box. It's mine. It says Michael on it. Open mine. I'm scared. Dude, that is so sick. I want it. No, you will not get Let's it. Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. I love socks. This has now become about us. Dude. It's this, about me. This is like the sickest thing. Nobody knows I buy so much seasonal stuff. You don't like my goddamn rod reel! Yeah, okay, I love it! This is so cute! <laughs> Reason. Dude, this thing right here. That I'm gonna stop filming so Dad cool. for a minute so I can film Dad. Hey! Put the mother back on me! Okay. It's my goddamn birthday! Twinkies. Man, the Twinkies was out of business still. More candy! Oh, dude, you're dying. That's it. Oh, shit! Corn beef hash! Turkey's bam! Oh, dude, he knows you. Turkey's bam! Ah, damn! <laughs> who sent this? I gotta know who sent me this little chucky. They probably answered this. <sighs> hey! This is Grandpa! You put your damn nose! Why you sitting bringing goddamn Michael's up? It's my birthday! It's my birthday! Is that why the call you're making to yell at them? Yeah! It's my birthday! <laughs> Thank you for the chucky thing. Thank you for the you kiss my ass, Bridget Michael. It's my birthday. Bye. I love the Goodbye. There. <laughs> you didn't even hang up. Will you hang up? Thank you for the socks. Grandpa, you're fantastic. You right, I am. Got candy. Oh, dude, <laughs> I feel so sorry for you tomorrow. He <laughs> came more candy. Let's check on Dad. Yeah, I was just about Let's to say Let's check that. on Dad's well-being tomorrow. What the fuck? I think I'll get it. With him. Is this it? This is it, except for this, I'll get this last. What the hell? Balloon! How cute! Graffiti! Oh. Pecan! Spin, they spin wheels! They're pinwheels! Dumb. 